All right, hello folks. Welcome, Vertigo Tea Party. Make sure to check me out, twitch.tv slash Vertigo Tea Party. Uh, we're gonna play Colony Ship. This is a CRPG, much in the vein of games like Fallout 1 and 2. The premise is actually really cool. Uh, it's based on a book, I don't know the name. But here, very quickly, the idea is this ship has left Earth and it's got a several centuries long voyage to get to its destination to establish, well, a colony. Well, there is no like cryo freeze in this. So basically there's just gonna be generations of humans who only live on this ship and never see anything else. And you're one of those people. Like you've never seen Earth because you were born after it left, but there's also centuries to go before it gets to its destination. So you'll never see the destination either. So you'll live your entire life on this ship. And I think that's a really cool premise. So, and again, I know it's based specifically on a book and I, like I said, I forget why. Or I forget the name of it, but the ship looks like a colon. I don't think it looks like a colon, but let's start. So this is one of those games where you can talk yourself out of a lot of situations. What we might end up doing is I might start with a combat character first so that you can see how the combat is. And then if there's time, I'll go back and we'll try a like social heavy character and see how things might be different at the very beginning. Uh, now, this game is also quite difficult. I've played the demo a bit. There is a demo available on Steam that you can get. It's basically just an arena type thing. Uh, the combat's very difficult. Uh, the they really don't. The devs have said they don't want you just hopping in the combat as your first option every time because combat is pretty is pretty taxing. So, I am. So I, keep in mind, our first build might not be very good. There's been a, a lot of complaints, wrongly or rightly, that people people are feeling like there's only specific builds that work. I don't know if I agree with that. We'll have to see. Uh, but what has been said is if you're going to make a combat focused character, you really need to make your character focused on that. So we're going to do the dumbest thing we possibly can do, because that's what we do here. I'm going to try making a melee character. Uh, which, you know, this might go horrible. We might end up re-rolling sooner than we thought. Uh, but but I will say this too. The devs have said that they have gotten through everything is available in early access. This is an early access game, by the way. They've gotten through everything is in early access with all kinds of builds. Melee, range, just social, all kinds of stuff. So they are viable. So we'll, we'll give this a try and we'll see how it goes. So I'm going to start, uh, see... We have Strength, Constitution, Dex, Perception, Intelligence, and Charisma. One thing I'll say about, uh, I don't like about Melee, Melee is also very Perception heavy, which makes Melee feel automatically at an advantage because that means you need Strength, Constitution, Perception, and Dexterity, because Dexterity is your action points. So you kind of need everything. You need four out of the six stats to be decent. Uh, and your chance to hit if the arena type demo is any indication, your chance to hit by default is pretty damn bad. So I feel like it's a bit much requiring a melee to also have perception, considering you have to be in melee range. Uh, maybe a little bit, but maybe we turn that back. Anyway, so what we're gonna do, we'll put six in perception. Uh, strength is your action points. So basically how much you can do in a single round. And it does actually tell you oh, what a lot of the stuff does when you hover over it. I'm not going to go into all the stats, but just as I see them, as I think it's relevant, we will. I will put strength up to 10. Now, here's one thing to keep in mind as well. And this is kind of a cool system. Your feats are over here. Now, some feats you can only get if your relevant stat is high enough. Now, these first ones are you have to max it out. So, for example, when I get 10 strength, it unlocks the Juggernaut uh, feat. Uh, and this one is natural DR plus one. That's damage resistance. Uh, melee graze damage plus four. And that means basically, I forget how graze works, but basically if it's like, if you barely hit, you normally do like half damage. This ad gives you an extra four damage if you graze, which is pretty nice. Uh, this also makes it so that you can't be knocked down. You just become staggered. So that seems like a, a pretty good one. Um, let me see. We have eight points left. Intelligence and Charisma, we're just going to keep low because we really need the points and everything else because obviously Constitutions are hit points. So we obviously want our Constitution to be high because we're going to be up in melee. 
we're probably going to be taking a, a lot of shots to the face. And dexterity, again, very, very important because we need to probably move around a lot and in our you know attacks also use action points. This is why I say it seems like it's a bit much. If I was making a you know talky character, intelligent charisma, probably my main stats. And sure, I want some other stuff too, but or if I was ranged, I would mostly need dexterity and perception with a little bit of constitution. See what I mean? So I feel like melee, on top of already being more hard by default, requiring perception on top of everything else is a bit much, in my opinion, uh, at least initially. So let's say, I mean, hitting is pretty damn important. So I'm going to put my perception up pretty high. And the main reason I want strength at 10 is I probably will pick up this juggernaut ship or juggernaut uh, feet. And let's look at the other possible feats. We're not going to read through all of them, but this is just to kind of give you an idea of some of the feats you can pick. Uh, the first one that everybody can get, it gives you plus two stat points and plus three skill points. That's pretty damn nice. Uh, and uh, given that we're melee, I almost want to pick that. But we'll let's look through the other stuff first. We can get a four AP dedicated just to movement. That's pretty nice. AP is action points. That's in a nutshell how many things you can do in a given round. This is turn-based uh, combat. Critical thinker, critical chance plus one, critical damage plus two percent for each skill level. Uh, add we can add initiative, uh, four action points in the first turn. That would be pretty good for melee. Oddly enough, it's called fast draw or first draw. Or you know it is fast draw, uh, just to get into melee, which again the other the charger could be the same thing. Opportunist reaction plus five reaction hits adds stagger. A reaction hits. This game has an interesting mechanic where if an enemy misses you with a melee hit, or actually if you're in melee with them and they miss, you have a chance to get a counter attack. It's pretty nice. Hey, little Miss Rappa, how's it going? I'm doing good, doing good. Glad you stopped by. Make sure to go follow uh, Little Miss Rappa, great streamer. Streams a lot of good games. Check her out for sure. A quick fingers cuts reload, lock picking, inventory actions, and looting AP costs in half. Lone Wolf, evasion plus 10, reaction plus 15, initiative plus 15, critical chance plus five when working alone. I feel like you kind of seems like you want to do this as a melee, especially since your charisma is so low but I feel like that is super hard mode in this game and you don't need a super hard mode in this game. Uh, defenses, we can reduce the AP penalty and each piece of equipment by one. Uh, I don't know exactly how that works with the mechanics, so we're not gonna be picking that one. Evasion plus 10, plus 20 when your seven hit points are less. Tough Bastard, his points plus 10. Enemy critical chance is capped at 5%. So in other words, if an enemy has you know more than a 5% chance to crit you, it drops it to 5%. I've heard that's actually quite good for this game. A true get, true grit, when not in cover, ballistic resistance plus one, evasion plus 10, reaction 10, uh, bloodlust on kill, 50% crit chance, yada, yada, yada. So you can kind of see the idea. You're getting kind of the idea of the various traits. And I'm kind of reading through to see what we want. We're probably going to pick Juggernaut, though, because I do feel like that one is, is pretty good. I kind of want to pick the Gifted, just because those extra stat points really could help us. And we can only pick that one at creation. Now we can also, and we're going to focus on blunt weapons just because beating people with pipes and bats is uh, something that appeals to me. We could also specialize in it to start with blunt weapon accuracy plus 10 stagger plus five for each skill level, which is pretty nice, but let's go ahead with juggernaut. I've heard it's a good, a good perk. Uh, our feet so we'll stick with that we have two points left out of curiosity what do we get with this with a plus 10 perception we could get aimed plus 10 graze plus 10 and grazes do plus three damage mm. Given how much my experience in this game has been that your chance to hit is just generally really bad, we're going to stick with Perception 10. That might just have been the arena area, but we'll give this a try. And we might end up having to remake this guy. 
But just quickly here, you can make male, female characters. Uh, they get a bunch of portraits you can go through to pick. I'm sure this ton of stuff will change as we go. That born free tattoo kills me. This guy, let's go. No, that's, he gets, that's a charisma dude. Let's go with the Freddie Mercury looking dude. Change skin color here. Change your face a bit. We're not going to go crazy with this. Just give us some hair and a nice beard. Actually, I like the other hair color. You can do scars, which you can't really ever see your character, so it's not a big deal. But all right. Uh, so skills, you tag a skill and you learn XP in that one faster. So let's go to choose blunt. And we have four skill points, which increases our accuracy. So obviously blunt, we're going to increase here. You can see all the kinds of different skills we have, both combat and otherwise. We have bladed and blunt for weapons. We have pistol, shotgun, rifle, and SMG for ranged. Combat, we have critical strike, evasion, and armor. Science, there's biotech, computers, and electronics. Speech, persuasion, streetwise, and impersonate. And stealth, there's lockpick, steal, and sneak. I will say, for, again, from what I've heard, I haven't messed with it yet myself, but I've heard sneak is actually can be quite useful, especially if you want to avoid some really tough uh, fights. So you might want to put a point into that. In fact, we'll go ahead and put one point into that. And our, we have two left. So I think the ones that make the most sense is going to be evasion and armor. We're trying to make this guy pretty, pretty combat focused uh, for sure. And I don't, we will use range if we have to, but I would rather, rather not. So that sleep looks good. And if, you, by the way, if you want to go and look at these again, there is a free demo. So I would advise checking out the demo and you can make your own character and you can kind of see what all the skills, uh, skills do. So I'm going to read at least some of this. There is a ton of text here to kind of introduce you to the game. I want to read some of the first stuff because it's, it sets the mood for what's going on. Uh, but we're not going to read all of it because there's quite a bit. So it is the year of our Lord, 2754. You will never feel the sun's warmth under a blue sky, never hear the wind in the branches of a tree, and never swim in the ocean, because you had the misfortune to be born on the ship. You have never seen Earth, and you'll never see Proxima Centauri either, your past and future both sacrificed by some dim and nameless ancestor to the greater good of the mission. Starfarer, they called her a pretty name for a retrofitted interplanetary freighter. She had already been 20 years in service when she was rechristened and showing every minute of it. No one is certain the ship will actually reach its destination and nobody much cares since no one alive now will live to see it. Fatalism is the prevailing philosophy of the shipborn. Make the best life you can and consign all your what ifs and might have bins to the void. So we can answer a few questions to find your character's beliefs and opinions. I don't know how this affects the game or not, but, uh, but again, I will read this first one and then the other ones I'm just going to kind of pick and I'm not going to read all of it. Again, this is in the demo, so you can read this kind of stuff if you want. I want to show more of the gameplay side. The ship was launched by a neo-Christian conglomerate dedicated to establishing a religious colony on a distant world. The original 50,000 passengers, the so-called first generation, were true believers in the mission. They sacrificed whatever lives they had on Earth and demanded strict obedience to the laws of God and the ship from their children. Unfortunately, the generations that followed lacked their forebears' fervent will to sacrifice. Dissatisfaction led to open revolt against the authorities called the Mutiny, and the Mutiny metacized into a civil war. While the mutineers had a decisive blow to the old order, they did not eradicate it completely. When the fires died and the smoke finally dissipated, three factions emerged from the wreckage of the old order. The protectors of the mission, the Brotherhood of Liberty, and the Church of the Elect, each of them promising their own version of the future. And this is the one where you kind of answer questions. Uh, again, I'm just going to kind of read them myself and go through. Okay. 
I will flee the, the flavor text and other things, obviously, as we go. You open your eyes to a gray whole metal ceiling, one panel of which flickers yellow, indicating day shift. You overslept, not that it matters. With a grunt, you roll off your stained mattress and open the window to let some fresh air in. Like everything else around here, fresh is relative. The ship does its best to recycle air and water, but cargo holds aren't high on her priority list. You breathe in metal and burning oil and look up. Four of the bridge's six projectors are still operational, shining dully down on the container towers of Cargo Hold 3, better known as The Pit, the Free City. Calling The Pit a city is a bit of a stretch, but so is calling the reddish-brown liquid water. You've read that water is supposed to be clear and cities are supposed to be big, but no shipborne has ever seen either. Maybe in another hundred years, water will look and taste like oil, and people will be talking about the good old days when it was the color of rust and tasted refreshingly bitter and tangy. That's the kind of optimism that keeps you going. The elevator crawls up a groove in the cargo holds wall like a black steel bug that's worn a path traveling to the bridge and back. It's time to get up there and earn a few credits, but first, you need a drink. For the last few years, you've been doing odd jobs for Tanner, a local hustler with a nose for making money. He's never tried to screw you over, which is pretty close to being virtuous in this town. Still, there's a first time for everything. Whiskey Jack added the map. Let's uh, see. Meet Tanner at a nearby bar called Whiskey Jack. Don't forget your gun. You never know when you'll need it. Where's my blunt? Let's go with a shotgun since we're going to be up close anyway. Which actually a pistol might be better. So if we can't get close up. Let's go with a rifle in case for some reason we can't really get up close. A backup weapon, perhaps? If you run out of bullets. I feel like they're trying to already push us away from melee, but we're going to choose a utility bar. It's actually an utility bar? No, it's not. All right, we'll go ahead and quick save. Thank God there's a quick save. Tab will show everything that's highlightable. We can zoom out here. Howdy, neighbor. I'm not going to talk to all of the uh, NPCs, by the way. Another day, eh, Malachi? Hey, that's what's my old internet name. Say, Xavier, raising a cup with a black blend of chemicals that has passed for coffee aboard the ship for at least a generation. Looks like it. Any big plans? I got a job on a diving crew, says Xavier, taking another sip. They lost two men last week, so they hired me on the spot. Must be my lucky day. Diving? As in diving into the mission control ruins, it's like a maze down there. Sealed doors, corridors, entire decks. They cut the power to kill the auto defenses, which didn't make things easier. Now there's a demand for divers who can open doors the old fashioned way. Sounds useful. Can you give any, me any pointers? I can show you the basics. The rest is up to you. See this lock over here? You gain some insights into the ancient art of lock picking. Lock picking too, nice. Sweet. So it looks like even the uh, unnamed guys can help us out here. You weren't even important enough to get a name. Ooh, lockpick. Open it. Nice. Did we get any XP? Yes. Uh, so you can kind of see down here, it has a text log of all of everything you do. So Malachi gained 20. Oh, actually, that is my name. I didn't even pick it. How convenient. Ooh, I will definitely pick on this. Already start with amazing stuff. You have a shotgun. You can hold Alt to compare items. The item that you're selected is on the left. So we'll put that on. You got a flashbang. We have a region. Gain hit 10 hit points instantly and 10 the next turn. Strength, con, dex, and perception reduced by two. Each time is taken for the duration of combat. So it looks like they don't want you spamming healing items. Or maybe there's some better ones later on. Who knows? But this another big thing that I've heard about this game is you really want to use all of your resources. I know I am the world's worst about sitting on resources like grenades of various kinds, you know, uh, shielding, stealth generator, stuff like that. But apparently you really need to make sure you use them uh, in this game for combat. I'm done with this fucking town. 
says Charlie, his eyes empty and lifeless. Two years I've been here, and what do I have to show for it? Nothing. What are you going to do? Go back to the habitat? Guess so. It doesn't seem so bad now the habitat. Don't know what I was thinking. Take care, Charlie. Later, Charlie. I'm the world's best, possibly. It seems like a nice place. I don't see why, why he's got to poo-poo it so much. Bio recyclers break all organic matter from waste to dead bodies gathered around each morning into simple organic compounds and mineralized nutrients where the ship turns into that end tabs. It's the circle of life. It's the wheel of fortune. So wait, wait, every time I take an end tab, I'm actually consuming a person. Nice. Actually, now that I think about it, let me um, move my head. Uh, yes, Grug. This entire game, I mean, assumingly it takes place on the ship. That's the premise is that that you're basically born on this ship and you will die on the ship because it's on its way to some remote remote land. Yeah, that should be fine. So you will never actually see its destination and you've never seen Earth. I love how that actually gave me the name Malachi. Like I said, that was my, my interweb name for a long time. I still use it. It's actually like my my official email. A couple of lucky local junkies are loitering near the entrance of the alley, probably waiting for the next victim. Sure, junkies are nice people. Whoa, says one of the junkies. Look at you scrolling it like you own the place. It's our territory. You got to pay me first, and then you can be on your way. All business-like. Let's see, streetwise. Now see, here you can see, of course. Uh, no, you can see it. It shows the check that you need and at the bottom it shows you my current skill so i can ask how much uh streetwise two do i look like an easy mark to you you dumb fuck or critical strike kill him first to even the odds now my understanding again the demo that i played uh sorry my ears drive me nuts my the, from what i played of the arena i didn't get to do anything but basically beat people up so we're we're going to be learning together how these skills work but my understanding is even though it says streetwise 2 you can pass it but streetwise 2 will guarantee that you pass uh let's try critical strike 2 at first though because i like murdering people and we're probably gonna have to reload a bunch by the way failure your lunge is clumsy and an any experienced fighter would have seen it coming a mile away lucky for you it grazes the yunky junky the yunky and he yells in pain kill him okay so here's a combat there is a interesting initial phase where you actually can place yourself which is different so it's a little bit like XCOM in that sense but we're gonna obviously put ourselves up front and switch to our utility bar now this is where it gets interesting so each weapon has various types of attacks that you can use so for the blunt weapon we have regular attack, power attack, and fast. Here we can do various aimed shots, like at the head, the chest, etc. Uh, and then we just have special attacks. Like this is a double strike, and this is a knockdown. Now I'm not going to go down to every single one of them, but as you can see, when you hover over them, there's different attributes to each. They have different costs. They can do different damage. They uh, they might help your accuracy. They might make it worse. They might ins inflict certain status effects. All that kind of stuff. So you have a lot of options here, which is pretty cool. I, I do like that quite a bit. One thing I have found when with my testing can be quite useful is either knockdowns, because obviously, or things like if you attack their feet, it hurts their evasion, so it makes them easier to hit for one turn. And what's interesting, those will have different effects on a critical. So if you if you see, yes, fucking kill, we're not going the pacifist route this route. But as you can see, if I hit with the hit on the legs, it hurts their evasion by 15 for one turn. But if I critical to the legs, they get kneecapped for two turns. Now what kneecap does yet, I'm not sure, but it sure sounds like it hurts like a bastard. And so you you pick, so let's say I wanna try to do a knockdown on bulldozer. Let's see if we can knock down bulldozer. So we pick it, it's highlighted. And then when you hover over, it will show you your percentage chance and another thing that's cool is if you hold alt, it actually breaks down the numbers. 
This game is very friendly with numbers. So as you'll see, once we start get fighting, you'll see that they give you all this info, uh, which is which is good. It might be seem a little bit over much at the beginning, uh, especially since it's some stuff. It's hard to figure out exactly what it means, but I think later on when that stuff explained better, it'll really help you decide how to build your characters and what to focus on. But we won't so we won't go too much into the all the passive stuffs stuff. Again, you can kind of mess around with that with the demo a bit, but I want to show the, the basics here. So we have a 62% chance of hitting. So it looks like, I think the green is your chance to hit, red is chance to miss, yellow is gray's chance, and maybe the teal is crit. So let's try to hit him. I mean, it's going to cost us, what is it? It's going to cost us six action points. Oh, we can see it right there. Oops. So let's try it. We have 14 action points total, so we could try two knockdowns. Oh, uh, we have to hit space bar. That starts the actual co combat. And now I can I can choose. We're going to try to knock down. All right, missed. And again, there are reaction attacks. So if you miss, there's a chance that they will counter. And same for you. And you can actually increase that stat. So I hit him for 13. And he's afflicted by stagger. Which I'm not sure what stagger does exactly, to be totally honest. We only have two action points left. That's not enough to do anything. So we'll pass our turn. And again, the, the missing thing is like getting a counter. So I just got a reaction attack. We grazed him for nine. So let's try to knock him down again. Actually, since he's kind of low, we have 14 AP. Let's try to just do a regular attack. Let's see if we can't finish him off. 72% chance. So obviously we have a higher potential to hit or he, it might be higher because he staggered i'm not sure we did 14 regular damage let's do it again ah two hit points left you some bitch we have four ap left which is just enough to do a fast attack which does a little bit less damage but takes less ap there we go now we just have the guy with the gun which in hindsight i probably should have started with him oh so he's actually out of range that's why we couldn't counter him that's fine now, one thing, this is yet another thing that makes it even worse for melee characters. Range characters have like a default, but just by default, they have a like an opportunity shot area. So if you try to move up on them, in certain squares will trigger a chance that they'll get a free shot on you. So you can see here with the red, like uh, with the red crosshairs, that means he has a chance to possibly get a free shot on me. He did not get it, thankfully. He had 13. Let's try to knock him down again. I want to see knockdown work, dang it. 52% chance. We'll try it. We only grazed him. We still have seven points left. What's the hardest thing we could do at seven hit points? Let's try for an aim shot to the head. Aim shot minus two perception, which decreases their chance to hit. 72% chance of a headshot. Nice. Now, I think if you... It looks like if you daze, I don't think they necessarily will suffer the, the side effects. Uh, so let's hit him in the head again with a big blunt instrument. That's always fun. And rip. So now I get the spoils of the drug addicts, which is, as you might guess, not a lot. Which is fine. This was, and it, it, this is a, a pretty easy fight. Oop. There, it's probably easier to, I'm having some weird jankiness when I do that. Let's do this. So let's see if we get anything better. We did get a cool jacket. I think that's the same as what we have. Yep, protector's vest. Suicide special pistol. This only has one shot in it, but it's a decent, decent enough pistol. We might try the shotgun at some point. Like I said, I'll try to, to do different things if nothing else is just to show them. But so we took, we took some damage. Uh, I will say we did okay that fight. Again, that was an easy fight, obviously. Now, apparently, if you don't have combat skills, that can be tough, though, but just a heater. Again, I'm not going to read all the flavor text, I promise. I just wanted to read some of it to give you an idea of how it goes. Hello, food vendor. As you approach, a woman turns on her makeshift grill, a metal plate resting on two crates above a simple burner. What can I get you? She asks. One look at the unappetizing mess of recycled protein sitting on the grill is all it takes to dissuade you from the special. She points at a vat with some kind of tear-inducing steam seeping out from around the edges. 
Today only, three fifty for a fried New Yorker. Is it literally a New Yorker fried? A New Yorker? She opens the vat and fishes out a chunk of gelatinous flesh. Look at this beauty. I boiled it in vinegar to remove the slime of toxins. You want it well done or medium? Uh, no, I'm good. I got rid of the slime, sir. No, you know what? So this seems like a nice place to live so far. Seems like we're very well provided for. And people don't mind that I just killed these guys. But they were junkies. Nobody cares about junkies, right? No offense to the junkies that are almost certainly in the audience. But yeah, I wish I could remember the name of the, the book that this was was uh, inspired by. I think it's called something like Heaven's Orphans, something like that. I really dig the premise, though. I really like the premise of being on this ship. You've never seen Earth. And you never will see Earth, nor will you see your actual destination. And there's probably nobody... It's hard to tell how long the ship has been in transit based on the intro text. But it sounds like there's a pretty good chance that nobody around has actually ever seen Earth either. So everything you know about Earth is probably from, like, movies and books. Jericho Moore, at your service. The appraiser says with a quick nod, how may I help you? Depends on what you do. With a practice motion, the appraiser conjures two electric electronic modules. The cases are old and covered with rust and corrosion. The markings that could identify them faded away a long time ago. One of them is a C-210, a worth 700 credits in the pit, 1,200 in the habitat. The other one is an L-5, common as dirt and just as cheap. You'd be lucky to get five credits for it. If you're confident in your ability to tell them apart, you don't need my help. Otherwise, I don't have anything worth appraising. So, okay, this guy, I guess he finds, I don't know if he's like, he's our Deckard Kane. Stay a while and listen. That's quite the treasure you have in that Haradric cube. All right, I'm not going to read all the defenders. They're just vendors. Oh, you can steal from the vendors. Interesting. Let's browse his wares first, and we'll, we'll we'll save scum and see what happens if I try to save, if I try to steal. So we can get a respirator. Increases our resistance to toxics. It's arm guard armor. We'll look at the, well, we'll look at the player stats a little bit later, but do know that the DR stat, again, the damage resistance, uh, applies specifically to, to certain parts of the body too, like chest, legs, head. And that actually matters because like small creatures that you might fight, will only go for the legs and feet. So you want like very strong leg DR uh, when you're fighting those guys. So something to, to keep in mind. So you have a thousand credits. I'm not sure if I want a better weapon or if I want better armor. We'll wait for the time being. Then we'll make our decision later. I want to see how this weapon is. Let's go to swap this out here. Compares to the utility bar. It's better damage. Melee, blunt. Now, the AP cost is a little bit more. Has the same range. It's got worse accuracy, but more stagger. Early on, my opinion generally in these types of games is accuracy is one of the most important things. Uh, because if you don't hit, you don't do damage. Later on, when you can buff that stat, then it's not a big of a deal. But early on, my opinion is you really want to, to focus on uh, on accuracy. Here's Tanner, who we're supposed, to, we're supposed to talk to. So we will read his text. I got a job for you, Malachi. Interested? What kind of job? An easy one. Tanner pulls a plastic rectangle from a compartment inside his sleeve and slides it towards you. The card is old and worn. The color has long faded, but the raised print on the front is still as clear as the day it was stamped. A2. That's Armory Level 2. The holy grail of every scavenger on the ship. During the mutiny, the rebels looted every depot on the first level, but the automated defenses on the second stopped them dead. Literally. Those same turrets have dissuaded every scavenger since. Is it real? Is it real? Repeats Tanner, miming a look of disbelief. Son, if you don't have the stones for it, just say so. Don't insult me. Every scab worth his salt has been searching for this card for decades, but you're the one who found it. I have my ways. You see, I wasn't looking for a long lost access card. Since I'm not a fool, I was looking for technical officer Ulysses Col Colton. 
Tenor pauses so you can show your admiration for his savvy. Let me guess, he had the card and you alone figured it out. Not quite. I alone figured out how to find a man who changed his identity and died in obscurity nearly a hundred years ago. I have a feeling you're dying to tell me. Tanner pulls a battered energy pistol from his belt bag and passes it to you. This is a sidearm. He changed his name, but he couldn't change the serial number on his gun. Once I found the serial number, the rest was easy. His granddaughter sold the pistol 20 years ago. Are you sure this card still works? Only one way to find out. Go see for yourself. When you come back, we'll have a proper conversation. I feel safer if I had someone to watch my back. Take Evans. I saw him at Abe's store earlier today. That dumb bastard almost shot me. Sounds like the right man for the job. All right, so we need to go to find Evans at Abe's store. And this game is one, apparently, and again, I've read the forums quite a bit, as you can tell. Uh, so this game will throw you quests at you that you're not ready for. So just because you get a quest doesn't mean you're able to beat it immediately. Uh, what can I get you? We got gut warmer, rat poison, high voltage, fire water, and absolution. Special on the rat poison right now. Every third round is free for as long as you're able to drink it. The ship provides the basics of human survival, recycled air, recycled water, and intabs, recycled nutrients and minerals pressed into chewable tablets. They taste like cardboard, but they're free. Those who desire the finer things in life, like synthetic meat with a side of algae, have to pay. Because the forefathers disapproved of drink, the ship has never configured to provide alcohol. But the law of supply and demand supersedes the dictates of religion, and everyone's favorite vice is widely available. Each bar has its own secret recipe. The wise drinker prefers to leave it a secret. The bartender gives you a nod as he sets a beaten alloy mug on the bar and fills it with a black, oily liquid. You take a careful first sip, fighting your body's instinctive rejection of poison, and wait for a familiar warmth to spread through you. After a few moments, the world is a slightly better place. Any work here? Well, since you ask, there's this fella who owes me to just about everyone in the area. The name's Jedediah Walker, but he just goes by Jed. Balance owed is 1,200 credits, including interest. If you manage to collect, you get 250. How does that sound? Jed Walker, that name sounds familiar. I can tell you he runs his mouth faster than he runs up a tab, and that's saying something. Jed claims to have traveled the ship from stem to stern and made deals with every type of merchants, fanatic and scav known to the void. How such a world-wise entrepreneur ended up living in a rusted old container furnished with discarded packing materials, mystery to me, but I just serve liquor. Never claimed to be one of the big brains around here. Where can I find him? Ask around in Camp Town. Start with the local bars. Sweet. Got our, well, not our first quest, but a quest. I don't think that's where we came from, yeah. Is there a map? Oh, there is a map. I actually never actually tried this before. And it's already labeled. We have to discover the areas we've already been. That's always been one of those weird things in RPGs, right? Like where you're like, oh, you're starting town. But yet you have to... You have to, like, discover areas in your own town. Ooh, the promised land. This sounds nice. Caleb. So you've been here long. Like I said, we won't read all of it. I'll start reading just the, the major stuff. Too much freedom. This is America, son. That doesn't exist. Oh, I guess we have guards. Oh, I was going to try to rob from that store, wasn't I? Uh, we'll go back do that in a little bit. See, there might be some pathfinding issues here and there. Mr. Redford doesn't wish to be disturbed. Well, you know, aw. I'm sure that guy wouldn't mind if I just start picking that lock right there. He's got a door right behind him. That seems really un unwise. Like a serious security hole. Oh, we can't go up there. All right, let's go back to the store real quick and we'll obviously be scumbags and save scum it. Save often in this game. 
Steal two, grab some merchandise. The store keeper watches you as if you were a thief. How rude. How wooed. All right, well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna quick load that. I don't wanna be, I wouldn't have actually tried it. We're, we're here to show stuff off. Frank Boswell Gunsmith. I wonder if this guy sells guns. I'd like to buy a gun. I want to see if this leads to a quest. And again, I'm not going to read this all. I will, I'm reading it just not out loud. So this is just him explaining how the, the different types of weapons, which is cool. A Tommy gun. And we're not going to buy any guns. Uh, I will sell the suicide pistol. Ooh, you have a damage energy pistol. Wait, where did we get that from? We didn't get that from the, the dudes, did we? I'll hold on to it for now. And the bat we might switch to later, but... Yeah, before we get it, I want to get that other guy on our side. Before we get into any more fights. What do I, what does he sell? Gadgets. How odd, since the name said Cole's Gadgets. Let's browse his wares first. Bionic Eye. Tap into the 21st century. Uh, basically gives us perception plus one. I don't know if your stats can go over 10 in this game. Like when your character, during character creation, you can only go up to 10. But I'm not sure if you can go over 10. I would hope so. Want an alien game like Fallout 1? That would be interesting. So these I've used in the, the demo. Just the energy shield kind of sucks ass for melee. Because you had to turn it off to attack. Oh God, Jesus, here he is. Bananas back, bitch. <laughs> Welcome back, bitch, banana hands. How's it going? Thank you very much for the nine months subscription. Much appreciated. I think you get a new icon. By the way, there's a new icon that you're supposed to use. Uh, it, now, actually, it is law that both you and Retro must use it whenever you show up. It's uh, Pipu Arrive. So you need, I'm sure you're very, very familiar with it. Uh, but distortion field is actually pretty badass. It, I think it gives you defense, but also if enemies melee you, it hurts them. So that's pretty nice. But again, we're not going to buy anything yet. I want to see what all we can, uh, what all kinds of armor and stuff we can get first. Uh, or, or weapons. I'd like the melee weapons, to be honest. He didn't have any melee, right? He had a knife. Well, no, that's what I sold him. But he has a, he does technically have a knife. Let's, let's finish exploring this. Yeah, it's a BTTV thing. I should have, I should have uh, specified. My bad. There's furniture. Let's finish checking up here. I kind of forgot to check the bottom. Damn it, banana hands. Honest Abe's General Store. Ah, yeah, let's see if we can get this dude. There's Evans. Being a gunfighter is a quick and easy way to make a living in the pits. All it takes is a gun and some guts. It's also a quick and easy way to wind up dead. But the kind of man drawn to the gun always thinks they're going to live forever. Evans learned the realities of his new trade the hard way. The first time, Evans got lucky and killed his man as he fumbled his draw. Riding high, Evans called out an old hand who put three bullets in his chest and left him for dead. Lucky for Evans, a stranger patched him up and he survived. But today, he looks like a man whose luck has just about run out. Malachi nods Evans. What brings you to these parts? He asks, his bolt action rifle still pointed your way. I have a job for you. A job? Evan pretends to think about it for a moment. Truth be told, I got a job for you too. All you gotta do is stick around and watch my back while I deal with these thugs. You do that for me, I'll do whatever you need. No questions asked. Deal? 
Um, what thugs? Jonas sent some gun thugs to harass Abe. He nods at the storekeep. Abe's here been went to, Abe here went to the regulators, but Braxton said he can't spare any men. You and I both know the bastard doesn't want to get involved. So Abe hired me to watch the store, but the son of a bitch didn't say a word about Jonas until I agreed. I ain't no coward, but I don't want to go against Jones alone. He runs this town for Christ's sake. Why did Abe go to the regulators? Beats me. We all agreed to hire the regulators when the Brotherhood started eyeing the pit and getting ideas. Only reason they're still around now that the Brotherhood's backed off is to make sure that they don't come back. At any rate, their job is to show what we uh, that we have some muscle, even if it's a hired muscle, not sort no, sort out lo local. Wait, what? Even if it's a hired muscle, not sort out local trouble. What does Jonas want from Abe? Money. What else? His thug said everyone who did business in the pit has to pay taxes or pack up and go. I told Abe he should pay, but he doesn't want to listen to reason. If he wants to die, that's his business. But now I'm going to go down with him. Um, I mean, I mean, I would help to see what transpires. There we go. Now you legally have to use that every time. I don't want no thugs. The gun thug shows up around noon. A man in his 40s who moves with slow confidence and a brash young man eager to get himself killed. You got Jones's money? Demands the kid, talking tough. The old man stays quiet, keeping his eyes on you and Evans. What money? Ooh, let's just kill him. So again, this is the fate, the placement phase. Uh, Evans will put back here. Yeah, normally they have the icons for the characters. Oh, I didn't heal up, so that's going to be a little bit painful, I think. Actually, Evans. Let me come over here. Alright, Evans. You know what? I'm not even going to put you behind cover so that you can maybe draw a little bit of fire. So as you see, we're going to get different abilities for the rifle. We have regular shot, snapshot, which is, uh, you can only use that, like in, or uh, it's mostly for close range, I think. Uh, bullseye, what does this do? Damn, 13 AP. Critical chance plus 20. Critical multiplier, 1.75%, or 1.75. Penetration, giggity, plus 20. Penetration crit, giggity, giggity, plus 40 on hit. Minus four AP for one turn and minus two perception. And if you crit, they're knocked out for a turn. I do like me some eye shots. What's your chances of hitting? 73 on this dude. If it uses all of our, you know what, go for it. He staggered and dazed. Good. Uh, two to reload. Go ahead. And then pass my turn or pass the rest of his turn. All right. Let's run up to here. Damn it, you get a reaction attack. Yeah, they. I feel like they really stacked the deck even more than is normal against melee. I see he's already staggered, right? We have 12. Let's go for a power attack. Let's just try to take him out if we can. Ooh, that's ooh. 13 grays. That's the uh, juggernaut kicking in, too. Nice. 18 regular damage. He got a reaction attack. So, also, you notice he ran through my my uh, my hostile area there. Normally, that would trigger like an attack of opportunity in D&D. &D. I'm, I'm assuming that's still a thing. Uh, it did not there. It's just a chance in this game. So there's a chance and you can boost that stat so that you can get those reactions more often. Uh, let's do a regular shot on this guy. I think a 49%. Yeah, I don't like that. Those chances. I want to get his, his chance to hit lower because our main guy is going to die. And if, if our guy dies, it's GG. So if you're wondering on here, it says, on hit, minus 15 THC, that's actually two hit chance. Again, thanks. Thanks for, oh my God, 34%. That's hideous. 
So we might need to move. It might be worth moving and then shooting. Because that's plus 10 accuracy and it's still... Yeah, he's, he's too much cover. I like how when you move, it also shows like the, the line of sight there. So that's nice. I think... Oh, it also shows your your like defensive chance, right? So when I'm just to show you, like, look over the gun thug here. It shows right here he's at 50 percent. Means he's at 50 percent cover. I'm guessing. Here he's got 18 percent, but here I have a clear shot. So if we move here. That gives us 10 action points left. We'll do that. And yeah, let's try to hurt his two hit chance. 84 percent chance to hit. Let's go for it. No ammunition. What? I just reloaded. I swear we reloaded, but all right. 64% chance. Eh, go for it. Of course. I'm almost positive we reloaded. All right, so we're going to have to rely on some RNG here. This guy's really low, so let's use our lowest AP attack, which is the quick attack. 85% chance to hit and 9 to 14 damage. This guy's only got 5 hit points. There we go. Now, should we... The question here is, should we run up and try to melee? Or should we hide and hope for the best and let Evans deal with it? If we run over here, we're only going to be able to get one attack in. So let's actually pop over here. And hopefully we'll not get shot. Okay, good. He's shooting at Evans. Good job, Evans. All right, so now let's reload. For real this time. Oh, okay, there's only things... Okay, I got you. This thing only holds one bullet. I must not have reloaded. That's fine. A 74% chance for the headshot. Let's go for it. Ooh, nice. Na dazed and knocked down. But we don't have enough AP to do anything else. So we're going to run up with ourselves. We have six left. So let's do a power attack. Because he's knocked down, we have a really high chance of hit. That's one reason I'm doing the power attack so we can get more damage on him. Nice. Oh, and we crit. Didn't really need it, but I'll take it. What do we do now? Asked Evans, visibly shaken. Um, let's... Just for the sake of seeing more, I guess, quest stuff, let's go ahead and pick... We had Because normally this character, I feel like this character is more about watching out for his own ass. But uh, because we, I want to show more of the game, this pick, we had to see it through, I suppose. I know I keep changing the voices. Sorry, I'm terrible. It's your call. I reckon I'll stick with you until this thing blows over. Welcome aboard. A moment of your time, Malachi. What's up, Retro? Uh, Retro, you forgot something? You forgot to uh, keep who arrive? So I cannot acknowledge the things you're saying until you peep who arrive. Thank you very much. I'm assuming he's following me now. Okay, good. This guy wanted to talk to us. Let's chat him. Damn it, Retro. Get it right. I don't know how to thank you, Malachi. These ruffians, they were killed. They would have killed me dead. God knows I don't have much, but I'll give you all I can spare and then some. Turns out Abe could have only spared two small boxes of ammo, 50 rounds each, but it's definitely better than nothing. And then we steal from him. What are you going to do now? Pray for less excitement in my life? What else can I do? Don't you move? Didn't you move here from the habitat? You could always go back. Back? As bad as the pit is sometimes, the habitat is ten times worse. The protectors are all about their mission, and every poor bastard that lives in their enclave has to toe the line, whether he likes it or not. They tax you up the wazoo, and they expect you to contribute what little you've left to the war effort. The war effort? For the grand finale! You see, the protectors have been gearing up for war ever since the mutiny. 
The Brotherhood's been doing the same, of course. If you ask me, neither side wants to fight, but they've been beating their chest for the last hundred years, so they have no choice but to go through. And the church? Waiting on the sidelines to finish out the winter. It's a smart play. Right, let's browse. Reminds me of the first Fallout. Uh, yeah, it does. It reminds, it, like, I feel like it plays significantly different so far. It's definitely tougher. The combat's, like, we've been doing pretty, pretty good so far. But it definitely ramps up. So keep that in mind. Yes, I did see the patch notes, Lunar. <laughs> God. Wow, Retro going all out and using both. I appreciate that. Your internet's having issues? Sorry, Retro. Even though I don't know if you heard that. Yeah, I mean, I assumed you meant this game. Not, uh, not the other one. Utility bars, I already have. I'd really like to get an upgraded melee weapon. A swappable module that can bring dead machinery back to life, even if temporarily. Rope? Rope, every every D D group needs rope. We all know how useful that is. Reinforced ballistic vests. DR melee is two, DR projectile is three. Now the other two stats I don't understand yet. Uh, it, it says evasion penalty base, zero. And then negative five. So obviously the evasion penalty is zero, but then base is negative five. And then the sneak penalty is zero, but base is negative 10. I, I do not know what that means, but uh, we'll, have to keep, we'll have to keep this guy in mind. He's got the, the decent uh, armor. Work jacket, where do you have it? But where's the other guy? Yeah, I saw that. I figured they were going to change. Oh, hell. I'm sure these guys outside are going to be super cool. Braxton. Oh, this guy. It's loot. It's again, Paladin Dance. Rumor has it that Captain Braxton once served a higher power that in the days before his crisis of faith, he was known as faithful gunner Jeremiah Braxton among the Church of the Elect. There's plenty of talk about why he left, but as is often the case, no story is more compelling than the others. Backed up by a few like-minded men and picking up more recruits along the way, Braxton left the church and wound up in the pit, where good fighting men are always in high demand. Around the same time, the Brotherhood had started nosing around, eager to establish a foothold here. Braxton and his regulators offered the good people of the pit their services. After much debate, they were hired to drive the Brotherhood's men out which was accomplished with brutal efficiency. Thank God you're alive, says Braxton, holstering his gun. When I heard the gunfire, I assumed the worst. I thought you didn't want to get involved. It's not my fight, but someone has to step in and protect these people. I have nothing against Jonas, but this time he's gone too far. What can I do to help? Quite a lot, actually. If we move against Jonas, he'll claim that the regulators are taking over and many would side with him. We don't want that, but you're one of them. If you challenge Jonas, people will side with you. Of course, we'll stand with you, but it will be your fight. Sure. Credit said it at the crossroads. Then talk to Jonas. Put him on notice in front of everyone. Let them all hear what you have to say. Why? Won't he know we're coming? We aren't going to stab him in the back, Braxton said firmly. A man deserves the right to defend himself. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. When it's me doing it, what are you going to do? I haven't decided yet. What's your take? What's the saying? Better the devil you know than the devil you don't. So there's that. But sometimes I wonder whether the devil's going to let it all go to hell. Jonas did build this town, but that as far as he's going to take it. He did a good job keeping everyone on their best behavior at first, back when the pit was more of a camp. But the bigger the town got, and more lawless it became. And Braxton? Braxton? His men do a good job patrolling the decks around town, but I'm not sure I'd want them patrolling the pit and telling folks what to do. If Braxton ends up on top, who knows how far he'll take the law and order thing. Although probably not as far as Brotherhood would, so there's that. So we basically have to pick, you know, do we side with Braxton and his boys or this Jonas? Wasn't it like a Jonas brother? Like a... 
Like some kind of teeny bopper band, Jonas something? I don't know. Let's go check the furniture. Acquiring ten, acquiring 10 seasons of The Walking Dead in a very, very legal manner. That's good. Everybody should do everything in a super legal manner. Uh, this is Main Street. Let's keep going up. Let's go check this power station. We haven't found any melee weapons yet. We'll probably end up buying armor. Zeke. Oh, every, every computer RPG needs a guy named Zeke. A thick man with an ungimped beard is attempting to beat an electronic display into submission, reminding you of a bad-tempered spirit from old Earth folklore called Bear. Right now, he's stabbing the crack stream with one blunt finger and cursing it as it repeatedly flashes red. I tried adding new transformers to the grid. It ought to work, but I think this fucking thing just doesn't like me. Uh, yeah, I don't really... I'm not even going to try. This guy is kind of a... Bleh. Don't even know anything about machines, Zeke. Thanks, anyway. I'll figure it out. We don't have enough power? Uh, the generator produces plenty of power, but the OS is a bunch of exotic safeguards. Every parameter input is dictated by the big plan for the colony. So every time I try to make a change, the OS throws a fit. If we can manage to add more transformers to the grid, they'll hold us for a little extra while. The bigger problem is heating and air. This cargo hold was never designed to house so many people, or anyone at all. If it comes down to it, portable air purifiers keep the air more or less breathable even if it would leave an earthborn gasping on the floor and complaining about his rights, but that's only a temporary solution. We need to fix the old purifier to set us up for good. Then there are the defenses to worry about. The bigger the town gets, the more likely the habitat will come knocking. Anything I can do to help? If you could supply an oxidizer for the air purifier, that would take a load off my tortured mind. What, uh, that the kind of thing I could pick up at the store? Sorry, I was just ruminating. The tower is over to the hip nut. Wait, what? The tower is over to hypno hip hydroponics. Must have one. Or at least they did at some point. Best check there first. Hydroponics has been added to your map. Anything over here that I can definitely not steal? No? Okay. Oh, yeah. I don't think we, we were over here. Yeah. Okay. So I was about to say, I thought we were checked over here, but we have not. Hello, guard. Captain Braxton said you might stop by. Oh, he did he. Uh, can I? You born in a barn? Well, I guess you weren't. You were born on the ship, but you know what I mean. Hydroponics. Hydro. I don't know why I was. I mean, like, there's tons of RPGs with the word hydroponics. Uh, okay. Oh, hello. Wait, how do I? How do I get over there? Because he Braxton. Here we go, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. I think I went. Yeah, I went back down the stairs. Speak. Okay. Never. No, I won't. I guess I won't be getting back there. Damn it. Fine. Uh, see, okay, that's the food. That's where we started. So let's go over here. There's got to be a melee vendor around here, right? There's got to be. There's the appraiser. There's med bay. Kind of popping all over the place, aren't I? There was a food place. That's where we started. This those dead junkies that are just gonna apparently rot there. Nobody wants to clean up the bodies, I guess. Church of the Elect. I'm sure I could probably buy some good melee weapons again. Get a bunch of. Uh, I like how the apartments are really, literally just shipping containers. But yeah, how weird would that be? Like, you're on this ship. You're born on the ship. You know you're going to die on the ship. And, like, you're just floating through space. Like, you, you, there's you know, nowhere you can really go forever. I think it's kind of interesting. 
Makes you want to read that book. Sarah, the woman that stares blankly as if lost in thought with her metal cap fingers move across a keyboard that isn't there. You can see she's jacked in with a long translucent cable running from her half-shaved head to one of the machines. Finally, registering your presence, she unplugs the cable from her eyes and her eyes come into focus. Are you a doctor? I've been training in healing protocols, if that's what you're asking. <laughs> Steel 3. No, I don't think so. Uh, what's the data jack for? My neural uplink? It's how I run diagnostics. Only the simplest systems have external interfaces. What does this machine do? It repairs all tissues and organs, damage and pumps you full of drugs to kill pain and inflammation. Nice. It takes a couple hours and sets you back a hundred credits. Do you have any implants for sale? On occasion, when the scabs bring me something I can savage, or salvage, what do you mean? Where do you think the implants come from? We certainly can't make them anymore. She gives you a look of disgust, but whether it's directed at you, your ignorance, civilization's decline, or the nature of scavenging is anyone's guess. When the scavs show up to trade, they always tell me they found some dusty old corpse from the ship's launch, as if I can't see the blood on them. Half the time, they manage to break the damn thing when cutting it out. Uh, where could I find one of these dusty old corpses? In the mission control ruins, if you're desperate enough, just save some credits for region when you get back. If you get back. After a moment, she adds, McNeil and his crew hit a jackpot on a zero-g de zero deck just last month. An anti-riot officer with a squad commander implant and a full suit of subthermal armor. For once, they showed me some sense and dragged the entire cadaver to me. If they tried to hack the body up on their own tech, it would have been scrambled for sure. Can you show me how to extract implants safely? If you make yourself useful, you can watch me work. Maybe you can learn a thing or two. She walks over the corpse lying on one of the beds and checks the tag. Motor cortex chip. The dumb bastard overclocked it. Fried the chip and half his brain. Still, there might be something worth keeping. I don't have all day, so get it to work, will you? Half an hour passes. Wasteland 3. You're at 160. Oh, yeah, because of your internet. Um, Yeah, I didn't play Wasteland 3. I saw a little bit of it. I saw Matron play a bit, but I, I would say it's it's kind of similar to that that style. But again, it's supposed to be way way harder combat wise. Well, I'll be damned. The suppressor's still good. With a quick hand, with a quick hard yank, she pulls an intact piece of electronics from amid the cooked brain and ruined circuitry. She drops it in a jar of disinfectant and slaps you on the back with an unwashed hand. Oddly enough, this practical lesson on field surgery and neural implants have been more educational than you expected. Nice, I got my biotech to two. Anything else I can help with? Well, I do have an errand that he's running. A fellow by the name of Jimmy Brewster sent word that he has something for me. He owes me 500 creds, so it better be some quality biotech. If it is, bring it here and I'll make it worth your while. If it isn't, I'll deal with Jimmy myself when he shows up. Uh, where can I find him? Little shop, little shop of horrors. When he's in town, he rents one of the warehouses in Camp Town, E7, I think. Can I ask him. Uh, I don't want to spend the 100 credits to be healed just yet. Let's see what she has. She's got the stimulant, $100 for the heals. Aggro, two to four extra melee damage, plus four AP, plus 10 evasion, plus 10 reaction, plus 10 accuracy for two turns. When it runs out, your strength dex con perception reduced by two for the duration of combat. Ouch. But I do like that. Let's see, yeah. I'm trying to be careful not to oversell, which we've got the one. Actually, you know what? Speaking of, I'm going to close out of that. Oops. Quick save because we quick save like crazy. Check out Evans. Give him a jacket because he looks cold and dorky. And he's got the same boots. What kind of weapons is he using? He's got the revolver. Uh, let's see what his stats are. So here's the your stat page. One thing I like about this game is that it's one of those where you get experience in a weapon by using that weapon. So you can see here we've got a little bit of blunt because we've been beating people to death with a wrench, basically. 
uh, and we're also getting experience in you know other things, critical strike evasion, etc. So by using the weapons, you increase its, increase its ability. And I don't know if as you level up, you can give it boosts or, or tag it more or anything along those those lines. But but yeah, I, I like that kind of, of system. Also, you can see our lockpick has gone up. But here we'll pick Evan. Let's see what weapons he's good with. So the pistol and the rifle are definitely his, his go-tos. We'll let him keep that rifle. This shotgun has four shots. Let's reload it. Do I want to know the picture that you posted that's not porn? I probably don't because it's not porn. Okay, all right. We're not even going to bother trying to steal. And with our charisma, we can only carry, or we can only have one companion with us. So I'm not too worried about getting another companion yet. I'm more concerned about getting uh, money. We'll keep the energy pistol just in case. The truncheon we might switch to at some point. Sell both of those daggers. I'll keep that too, just in case. Sell the boots. Okay, we're up to 1,074. We started with 1,000. So obviously not not uh, not made a ton of money with this. So we have the bolter, and he has the bolter. Yeah, some of these weapons I want to keep just in case I you know want to try them out. Oh yeah, think think they were saying they they definitely have an unstable connection today. All right, let's go tug to the, the church of the elect. We need to go to this town. The whatever town. You can tell they're deacons because they're they've got rifles. Have you come here to find your purpose? The preacher asked by way of welcome. Either the church has fallen on rough times, or they deliberately chose a minimalistic design. The only ornamentation is an oversized metal cross wielded or welded to the back wall. Two deacons flank the altar, a featureless metal oblong, and look on impassively. The submachine guns cradled in their arms suggest theirs is a militant faith. What purpose would that be? Doing the Lord's work, of course. How else would we prove our devotion to the Lord? How else would we end our trials and arrive at our destination? Is it a fancy way of saying you'd like to hire me to do a job? You can say that. One of my deacons was taken prisoner. I want him back. Is there more to the story? I sent him to James McNeil. If McNeil and his crew were to pay the church a tenth of what he makes from his scavenging business, people would take notice. Others would follow his example. You think shaking him down will make you popular? It's not a shakedown. We are offering him the spiritual boon of serving the Lord and potentially more practical support. Such an arrangement will demonstrate that we that the Lord holds sway even in the darkest zones. Strength is the only language these people understand. What happened to your deacon? McNeil's holding him, a man of God, a prisoner. I want him released. I want restitution. I'll see what I can do. Why are you helping him? McNeil's one of us. You'd have done the same thing if some clown tried to shake you down. I'm not going to read all the options out loud. I don't quite get this option. Well, VPNs are slower, too. That's probably your problem. Is the VPN going to be slower? Um, because Evans went in, or this guy went to Evans and tried to shake him down. 
Evan said piss off and kidnapped him. But here I'm saying that I would have shot the deacon and get ready to shoot the bounty hunters next. Oh, so I guess he's just saying that he knows people are going to be coming after him. Let's just go with uh, a job's a job, unless you want to go back to Abe. There's other jobs, he says stubbornly. And they all involve stepping on someone's toes. If you want to make friends, you're in the long run of work. If it looks away as it spits, but blitz the matter, Trump. Oh, blah, blah. We have to kill one of our friends. Look, it's for money, so it's okay. God, who here wouldn't kill a friend for like 50 bucks? Literally all of you would do it. Ooh, broke into this place. Uh-oh, hey, how you doing? Gia, a woman is half asleep in an old, worn-out chair. A half-empty bottle of whiskey on her makeshift table in front of her. When you take another step, she opens one eye and glances at you. The Lord giveth, sighs the woman, and reluctantly opens the other eye, forcing herself awake. How do you like to make 500 credits for five minutes to work? Why me? You passed, you passed two tests, said the woman, reaching for the bottle. First, you picked the lock on my door. To be fair, that lock is shite, but it still takes some skill. Second, you clearly have a certain moral flexibility. Otherwise, you wouldn't be here. What do you want me to steal? A key. How else are we going to get in? Why steal a key when you can pick the lock? Let's not get ahead of ourselves here. Just because you can pick this lock doesn't mean you can pick any lock. Some locks are way too tricky. Others are hardly locks at all, at least not in the conventional sense. Why do you need me? He knows me, so he'd be on guard. That's why I need you. Who's the mysterious he? His name's Samson, ex-military by the looks of him. He ferries favors Jones's establishment, but he's awfully tight-lipped, even when drunk. My guess is he came into some money, not entirely legal, and decided to disappear. Can't find a better place than the pit, eh? He keeps a low profile and rents a cheap room, but it's all an act. I saw him skulking around in the outskirts one day and followed him. He led me straight to his stash, but it's locked tighter than a steel drum. How do I steal his key? Easy, let me show you. Ooh, nice, we learned steel too. Nice, cool. Now we can go steal some stuff, hopefully. I love having very flexible morals. Mora morals and morals. Then we get a lot of quests, that's good. Let's... Trying to decide if I want armor or gadgets. Let's take a look at the, the armor again. Get some arm guards that give two melee and projectile defense. Raider boots give three, two. A helmet that gives two, four. Jacket, that's quite the upgrade. Assault armor, that's, wow, that's a big upgrade too. How much is that? 450, that's not horrible. Oh, you had her at AC. Also, what's up, Juggernaut Pants? I just noticed that. Hmm. Scavenger goggles, goggles that give accuracy plus 3% and aim plus 3%. Hmm, that's pretty sexy too. I mean, this gives us like five increase on melee and three on projectile. Now let's go check the gadgets real quick. I 
kind of want this thing. This assortion field was pretty nice. Now the bionic eye, I don't know if we can actually use that yet. I think you have to have like a slot for it, oddly enough, other than your eyeballs. Because we have smoke grenades, we have flashbangs. Accuracy and evasion reduced by 60. Action points reduced by six. Oh, wow. Oh, there's different grades too. So it looks like, yeah, they have stronger effects. There's gas grenades, uh, smoke grenades. Okay. Let's go ahead and get this. I'm going to actually save real quick and we'll save it in a new slot just because I'm paranoid. Because this is one of those things where it's like, if I buy the wrong thing, am I boned? You know what I mean? Make sure to equip it on our gadget slot. And we'll go grab that armor as well. See, I'll, I'll wait on the armor. I'll wait on the armor. I'll keep the, the gadget. And then maybe, I don't know if there's like a vendor in Camp Town. Maybe we'll find a better weapon. But I feel like armor is probably going to be... A generally good idea. Uh, oh, okay. I was like, we're looking for like a zone area, but apparently not. What do you want? Uh, what's ever in here? Oh, damn it. Lock can't be picked. I don't know the meaning of that. Oh, turret. Let's fuck it up. This is about Jonas. This is the guy that we're supposed to be looking for and challenging. What do you think about Braxton? Braxton was the guy who wants us to go mess with Jonas. Braxton fought the Brotherhood in one. So basically, he's saying that if we help either side, they'll kind of stop being free, right? Because right now, these two groups, Braxton's group and Jonas's group, just by fighting each other, neither one can take over. But the minute they stop fighting each other, now they're going to have to deal with, like, one of them will probably take over and try to make everybody do what they want. Ooh, what made Bulldog Revolver? It might be better for our buddy Evans over here. Maybe. I mean, compared to the rifle, obviously it's not going to be as good. Oh, wait. I want to I wanna see how that shotgun is, but I feel like this character probably won't be... Evans probably won't be doing a lot of up close, or at least he shouldn't be. But you know how that ends up working out. I still need to heal, though. I mean, I got that stem pack... No, no. Wrong button. Ooh, proprietor. I will, I'll skim through this. Looks like it's one of those virtual reality things. Watch some old-timey movies, Earth movies. You got a machine that can load skills into people's minds, like software. If you have an authorization token. Tell me more about the tokens. Where can I get a token? Nice World War IV flick. How many World Wars did they have? Five, probably six or seven. Yeah, that's true, because there's still like, I mean, there's still people on Earth. Like Earth didn't get blown up. It's just this group was like, we want to go worship Jesus, but on a completely different solar system. Okay. Germs must own a gun. Oh, I think I know where I'm at, actually. 
Synthetic meats? Basically making meat out of dead people. Because, I mean, probably not a lot of cows on this ship. Ah, here we go. There's another store. Damn it. A double trouble shotgun. I like the name of that. Uh, let's sell this one. Hey, can I unload? Yeah. I want to keep the ammo. We don't have much shotgun ammo, though. That's going to be a problem. We'll wait, but... Well, not not the shotgun ammo, but... We'll need some. <laughs> You're hired. Hired for what? What do you think someone hires a gun hand? Either because he expects trouble or is planning to stir some up. Pays 100 credits on completion. Nothing up front. Are we in business or are we? Uh, we are. All right. The client is a fellow by the name of Trevor Chauncey, known around these parts as Chance. He's got a meet set up with the Granger boys to sell some kind of doohickey, and he's worried things might get dicey. If they do, you get to stand between him and a hail of bullets. Who are the Grangers? The outfit they're trying to reclaim hydroponics over on Sea Deck. They buy parts and pay good money for them. Paying for salvage attracts all kinds of customers, some desirable, some not. If the Grangers are buying, what's this Chance fellow worried about? Probably trying to get Swift and sell them some junk gussied up like valuable tech. If I'm right and they see through this bullshit, he'll have a problem on his hands. And since he's the client, his problems are your problems. Be good? Yes. You find Chance in the nearby bar, which double up as his office. Tell him Earl sent you. All right, Earl. All right, we'll go talk to some NPCs here. Oh, right, this guy. Let's go check. Oh, no, no we got to talk to him. Now, this part is in the demo, and I know... Somebody around here sold Melee. An engine fuel. Scabs. That seems like nice persons. Probably. Maybe, I think it was maybe this guy, but he just doesn't have them now, which kind of sucks. Maybe somebody else does, though. Now, let's go talk to Boone. He's got a name. He might be important. Welcome to Boone's Moonshine. Looking for Jed Walker. Jed's a bit of a wanderer, but last I heard, he was staying at the new house housing block down the street. Can't miss it. Rectangular design, olive green with rust trim. Forest Muse, I think it's called. Anything you can tell me about him? I can tell you he runs his mouth faster than he runs up a tab. Oh, yeah. Any work? Uh, okay, here we go. Must be your lucky day. My algae shipment in three is three days late, and my customers are complaining. Fetch it for me, and I'll pay you a thousand credits. A thousand credits for a delivery job? A thousand credits for a shipment of algae. I pay Carlos 900 per case, but I'm willing to throw an extra 100 for delivery. If you can get a better price from Carlos, that's better between you and him. Where can I find Carlos? Over to Hydroponics, where else? I hope you don't mind a bit of traveling to expand your horizons. Okay, well, we probably won't get to that one. Sounds like that one's kind of far off. Do I know you? Earl told me I could find you here. Actually, wait. oh, right, right. This is the guy who's going to give me the job. Let's quick save because I'm guessing it might teleport us to do this mission. Let's take a look. Okay, yeah, good. You know what the job is, right? If things go smoothly, I make the deal and you get paid for doing nothing. That's what I'm hoping, of course. But if the Grangers turn out weasel on us, you need to stand up and fast. Remember this, if I don't get paid, you don't get paid. What's the nature of this deal exactly? The Grangers want a control module for one of the towers. I happen to have an extra one. I don't need, that's it. Uh, let's wait. I want to check the other vendor. Never trust 
NBC's labeled as scam. What about you? Now we bet still the next case. Basically, the idea here is that the way court works is you get thrown into an arena against somebody working for the justice side, and if you survive, you're you're innocent. If you die, you were guilty all along. It's the whole dome in the lake justice system. There we go. The Warhammer. Looks sexy, but I cannot afford it. Ooh, gear mace. That I can. It does better damage. Oof, the AP cost is pretty brutal. The accuracy is worse. But it has 20% knockdown and 10% crit. Is what a thing in Final Fantasy? Ooh, this is only 150? Aimed 5%, thermal vision 30, resistance. So it only helps aimed. So like aimed at like heads, chest, hands, stuff like that. But for 150, that's not bad. I kind of want to save it for this badass sledgehammer, though. All right, so we're going to wait. I kind of want the badass sledgehammer. Oh, and uh, let's quick save if this is what I think it is. Welcome to Quick's Fix 3000. Please be advised that, you're here, that you hereby waive any and all rights and claims rising out of or relating to your augmentation and do release and discharge zero downtime in all its affiliates, agents, attorneys, predecessors, successors, and assigns for physical or physiological injury that you may suffer as direct or indirect result of your participation in the aforementioned activity. Thank you for choosing a zero downtime product where your well-being comes first. Of course, we'll accept the waiver. I wouldn't even have read it. So I don't quite understand how this works. It's like you're getting an upgrade, but you, like most of the ones I tried didn't work. So this increases our perception. There's one you can get that gives you an extra party member. Which would be obviously useful. We can add a heart. Upgrade hit points plus five, toxic resist six, max stat damage is limited to one. Actually, that's pretty nice. We can increase dexterity plus one, strength plus one, natural uh, damage resistance plus one, which is also really nice. But we need heat absorber and liquid armor. See, I don't really understand how that works. Like, I don't know what those items are. Yeah, so I guess we don't have whatever those things are. I don't quite understand how that works. All right, so let's go up here. This is the arena that you end up doing in the demo. And I'm guessing it's going to be either exactly the same or very similar. Uh, I'm not going to heal. The first fight's fairly easy. So we'll, we'll see how this goes. But in, in a nutshell, he says that what I said earlier about how, like, if you get arrested for something they just throw you in the arena and they have a prosecutor who uh who brings the secutor into the prosecution throw the pit and win if you aren't guilty oh yeah game of thrones definitely does all right evans Gonna risk it for a biscuit here. All right. Evans goes first. Again, I would like to hurt his chance to hit the most. The nice thing is that you do, like, a lot of times these type of effects in other games, you have to, like, critical for it to work. This one you just have to hit. Oh my god, really? I didn't reload. 
Now shoot for the hands. Nice. And we have five action points left. I don't know if there's any shots we can do that are five AP. We will reload though. All right, good. We can go before John Doe. Final Fantasy 14 fight for a potato? That I do not recall. So let's... Let's go for a headshot. 82%, not bad. Bonk. And I'm going to activate my distortion field. It costs 2 AP. We don't have anything that can be used for 3, so we're just going to wait. Unfortunately, our auto attack isn't triggering. I forget what stat that is based off of. Let's go for the arms again. Oh, he's pretty low, so he's he's not going to do, do too good for this. Ooh, 44% chance. Ouch. Before, I don't think it's necessary. We're not going to waste a bullet. I can take him. Let's use. Let's use our power attack. What percentage is that? I can't read that exactly. I think it's. 69. Bam. Like I said, first fight's pretty easy. Did that level us? I knew we were close. We did level. What I was hoping, though, was that we would level and it would be one of those games where when you level, it heals you. It is not one of those, unfortunately. Well, John Doe is dead, found guilty. Obviously, again, if he wasn't guilty, he'd still be alive. Yeah, I know. I don't know if I want to make it a command. I don't trust you people. I had to put a long, long thing on it. Oh, the I call them falafels. Guilty as charged, they let me know when you're ready for the next trial. Now, let's give him a few hours. So we did level. Let's take a look. I'm not sure what we get when we level. I guess we get nothing this time. Maybe you get them like every... Oh, wait. Feet's add. This is glowing. Oh, here we go. So we did get a new feet. What do we want? Extra evasion is always nice. Extra hit points and lowering their chance to crit will be very handy if we go against any snipers. Uh, true grit would be good because we're usually not in, in cover. And that's one reason too, like if I was to redo this, knowing that you get a feat at level two, I would have probably picked the one for more stats and now pick Juggernaut. But you can only pick the stat one when you very first uh, create your character. And I think survivability is going to be more important to us than power or than uh, more damage, rather. Let's go with evasion plus 10, melee accuracy plus 15, range minus 15. Ooh. Kind of like that. But again, let's, let's focus more on survivability than anything, which part of survivability is killing your enemies, to be fair. The Raiders are destroyed as an effective fighting force and disband. None of the Raider survivors are ever heard from again. Hey, Retro, thank you for the host. Much appreciated. What are you streaming again, Retro? Need to pick Juggernaut? Yes, always, always go with the Jugs. Um, let's go with True Grit, since again, we're usually not in cover. Getting some Ballistic Resistance will be nice, because ouch, bullets hurt. Evasion 10, so they miss, and the reaction 10 is what lets us counter. So I think that makes sense. Let's get true grit. I guess I can heal. 
And the healing things only cost like a hundred, I think. So can I use it now? Oh yeah, that's the stuff. Wait, what? How oh, do I have to use it from here? Wait, can I only use it in combat? If that's the case, that's dumb. I get that, you know, you're, you get negatives that affect you in combat, but you should definitely be able to use it whenever you want. Like, that's just silly. That needs to change. There's no reason. Like, it's all, like, I already hate when older RPGs make it so you can't cast heals out of combat, stuff like that, even because it makes no sense whatsoever. But yeah, you should definitely be able to use, use that. That's just silly. But we'll go ahead and save and try to get to another fight and then we'll have to heal immediately. I believe that, Retro. All right. So one cool thing you can do in this as well is you can act some stuff you can use in the, the pre-planning phases, but I'm not quite sure how it will work in regard to like if I use it, I don't know if it just ends combat. Probably not, but we'll put Evans back there. So I'm going to try to heal for Now it does use your some of your AP to start with, but if you really need to heal. And I'm also going to turn on my distortion field. Nice, we got a reaction attack with our gun. Let's see. Oh god, he did a lot of damage too. Didn't he? So this is where you can see the the damage breakdowns, all the rolls. I like when when games do that. Oh, so he aimed for my head. Well, that sucks. Why is this always out of freaking ammo? I'm almost positive I reloaded it. Whatever. No, wait, no, I didn't. Okay, that's fine. So William Dalton's next. And again, the turn order is up here. Let's go ahead for Emmett, because it's probably going to be the highest chance to hit. So again, my at least my current strategy is to hurt their two hit chance as much as possible. 77% chance, not too bad. Does he have a... They have melee weapons, though. So that's not as big of a deal. Damn. Why is it so hard to hit him? 58%? Oh, he's got really high evasion. Well, these are all melee, so let's worry about killing them then. Or dropping their evasion down. Nice. All right, so his evasion is dropped. He's actually hurting pretty bad too we have five hit point or five ap left uh what can we do oh can we not do anything with five ap we might have to switch guns switching guns does not cost ap regular shot 38 percent. not great yep oh yeah we're definitely gonna lose it this time oh we got our reaction shot though so that feels nice at least Let's go ahead. I guess Emmett's going to be the one that kills us here. Let's see if we can kill Frank. And on the off chance we actually survive Emmett. 7 AP. We've only got 8 AP because he hit us in the head. So that really hurts. So we might as well hit, do our biggest hit that we can. 8 to 12 damage. Let's try to go for the head. If you get lucky, we'll knock him out. Or we just can miss completely. That's fine, too. Oh, we got another heal. That's right, because the heal heals us immediately. 
and over time, but then he crit on us. So you're definitely gonna want to uh, save a lot. This definitely seems, uh, from what I've seen, it feels very RNG heavy. I've had fights where, because uh, during the demo, you actually do get a second guy eventually, where he was hidden behind a box and got killed in the very first round because of crits and was at full health, I think. So you can just get bone. It's one of those games where just the RNG will just completely screw you sometimes. So prepare yourself for that. So save scum like no tomorrow. And of course he hits us really, really hard despite our shield. I think Frank is the nasty one. What is this, dude? Bullseye, what does it do again? Let's try it. 48%, great. No, we've definitely got it. We gotta lower his evasion. Wait, it... All right, whatever. Hey, and we crit... Oh, we kneecapped him. Nice. I don't know what kneecapping does. We're probably not going to survive this because that guy, like, crit us really bad. Ooh, but we got a reaction attack, so that looks good at least. Nope. So, yes, again, very, very... Uh, uh, RNG heavy. It doesn't help that our health is low, and it doesn't let you heal out of combat, which it 100% should do. That's like not even debatable. It 100% should allow you to heal outside of battle. That's just stupid. Like if the heal like auto regenerated or something, I could maybe see it. All right, so he's reloaded. He's got the bullet. Jesus. Like the shield's not really helping all that much. Let's do something a little different. Let's try to lower his to hit chance. Oh no, this guy's in the way, we can't. We did hit him, luckily. Go ahead and reload. I love that he missed, but the shield still damages him. That's just, that's gonna suck to go against, like completely. You like that emote? That's a free emote too from, from Twitch. All right. So we only have eight action points. This guy should be easier to hit, even though, oh, but we also have debuffs, I think. Minus four perception, minus two strength. Jesus, why? Are we getting the... Oh, we must be getting the effects of the, the heal. What does this one do? To hit chance? Yeah, let's go with that. Nice. Only two left, so we'll skip that. We have a grenade we can use if we have to, but... Yeah, I wish... I'd have known that you have to use healing in battle. That's, I mean, it's it's just like, it's one of those things that's so dumb, you're like, okay, surely you wouldn't need to do that. All right, we'll try this one more time. We might just go do quests or something and then try to find an easy fight to get into so that we can heal. Because we're, we're dealing with the negative side effects too. When we shouldn't have to. Watch up, BB. How's it going? We might have to have him hide, too, or something until Evans can do some damage. Like I said, there's definitely a lot of trial and error in the game, trying to figure out, like, what will work, what won't. Because, see, we need to at least get ourselves living through this first round, but... Oh, damn, nice. Get 
Get bent, bitch. Only one AP, so we can't even reload. How's it going, BB? I love that he gets hit by the shield when he misses, and I still get a reaction shit on him, too. Oh, God. Yeah, he got wrecked. Uh, let's go ahead and try to finish him off. He's got how many points? 17? Let's go for power attacks. 54. Oh, right. Our shit is down. Nice. All right, so we got rid of one. This guy's knocked down for one turn. Nice. What are you going to stream? Are you going back to Subnautica? Don't forget to follow BB. Exclamation. No. Make sure to follow BB. Somebody shout her out, please. Uh, we only have two points, so we will just... Next week. No, no, no. That's to turn it off. No, so he still got up that round. It's crazy that even if they miss the shield, it still does damage, which I kind of get. Like, they're swinging close to you, but yeah, we get super lucky on, on those dodges there. That's why, again, that's kind of what I'm talking about. There's definitely a lot of RNG. Oh, this is a pistol? That's an interesting pistol, but all right. What increases our chance to hit the most? All of these give us plus 10 to accuracy. Let's lower this guy's evasion. He still has minus five to hit. Nice, he's crippled. Let's go for... Body shot. And of course, he's got one hit point left. Let's switch back to this gun and reload it with the last two AP we have. He kills himself on the shield. BB, not your waifu. Is that that should be a real streamer? That could be a real streamer. All right, so our shielding is down. It can only take so much damage. It does reactivate between fights. It's not a one one time use thing. Thank Christ. Uh, so he has minus five to hit right now. Anything to hurt his evasion would be good. Fifty eight percent. That's not. Great, but not horrible. Nice, good. We have six AP left. He's only got five hit points. So whatever we can do, actually that has the highest hit chance. These all give us five. Oh, the headshot is more, that's right. Go for a body shot. Nice. And we ended with near max health. BB, not your pillow. I mean, it could be, though. BB, have you considered merching some uh, BB body pillows? I should do it. I should do some VT. Who here would buy a VT Vertigo Tea Party body pillow? And by the way, I'm assuming you actually all would. I'm of course kidding because I know that you would totally all buy one. I hate you don't get any rewards in between. Like you get the items they drop, which is nice, I guess. And we can go sell it. We probably still won't have enough for that big ass sledgehammer though. Is BB hungry? No, BB ate. God fucking damn it, Retro. I swear to Christ. They could make some nice, sweet, thick ass body pillows. It'd be kind of like beanbag chairs. Ooh. Why don't we have like beanbag chair pillows? Like it's basically a, just a smaller beanbag chair that's like body size, like body length. And you just put it on the bed and you lay on it inside of it, like all cocoon. Thank you, Retro. It's because you have good taste. Heavy boots. No, those are better. Definitely put them on him. Obviously, our main character, we're going to put the best shit on because one, it's the main character. He's the one who matters. But also because we're the one up there getting hit in the face. Evans is just sitting in the back and crying like a bitch all the time. No, I don't want to kill my friends. Ooh. That's like, oh my God. What a crybaby. What does this do? Flashbang? 
kind of want to give that to Evans instead. Looks like he'll have more of a chance to use it, maybe? And we'll, we'll keep it on him for now. Yeah, they make ba giant beanbag chairs, but I mean specifically like longer to sleep on, like in a bed. They are noisy. That's the only problem. They are noisy. Comfy likes what? Body pillow? She has some because she's a goddamn weirdo. This is a dog eat dog world. Sometimes you got to kill your friends. That's just the way it works. There's even a game about it. All right, so we're good on all of that. I'm going to sell everything else. A bean bed? I mean, that would be even better. It's like a water bed, except nothing but beans. All the way down. Ooh, actually, this is the same AP cost. This only holds one round, though. This has six, nine millimeter. These are the same ammo type. Yeah, I'm going to sell that. The laser pistol will keep. We might want to try that at some point. Like I said, the bludgeon, if it's like this truncheon, if we could get our, our to hit up, it might be better. Let's sell that bolter. We've got two of them. All right, we got 698. Damn it, we can't buy that weapon because it's like 750. Sand? Oh, yeah, that would be terrible. I think. Water beds? No, it's different. I had a water bed back in the day when water beds were like super cool. I will try another fight. I don't know if we really. Well, I mean, you could probably do it. Let's see. The raiders have destroyed as an effective fighting force and disband. Well, well, well. None of the raider survivors are ever heard from again. What up, CJ Hope? Thank you for the raid. This is your first first time uh, raiding me, I think. CJ, you going like? Are you wrapping up early? You normally stream a little bit later. How's it going, you guys? Make sure to go check out CJ Hope. What were you streaming? League of Legends. I know nothing about League of Legends. I did play back in the day the the precursor i did play uh defense of the ancients when it was like a what, warcraft 3 mod i played that i like heroes of the storm but i never did league of legends how's it going cj glad to have you here go check out cg hope follow her she's cool she's chill she streams all kinds of stuff do you stream dvd much anymore you streamed dvd the other day didn't you dead by daylight for those of you not in the know all right, let's do this. Actually, this guy might not be this bad with this with two two guys. Ow, damn! Get wrecked, Evans. That's what you get for crying. I can't tell. Yeah, there we go. Blank his ass. Make him cry like you do. Minus evasion, sixty-five percent. Not great. Oh, we don't have an action point. Wait, what? Nine action points for that? Holy cow. I thought it was less than that. That's insane. So we have eight. Of course, one quite not enough. All of those are seven? That's ins or nine? That's insane. Just do a regular shot. I should have tried a shotgun, but not enough for reload. Yeah, the, the yeah, it does have that cover and accuracy system. It does and it does a good job of breaking all that stuff down too. Damn it. I hate. I really don't like them getting reaction shots. Like I say, it feels like the game is very very stacked against melee. All right, so this shield actually doesn't protect you or doesn't do the damage from from when you you attack it. But this is a uh, so this is a cool game that I I actually bought this. They offered me a key, and then I was like, yeah, I'm interested, and then never heard back. But I was like, yeah, this looked cool enough. So I went ahead and bought it. It is early access, but it's called um, it's called Colony Ship. It's a CRPG, computer RPG, so it's similar to like the old school Fallouts, things like that. It's supposed to be quite difficult, and the, the fights are definitely pretty challenging. Like you can't just be willy-nilly with your points. You need to make sure you're specialized. But like you can go strong in the social abilities, like you can boost your social and talk your way out of certain situations or maybe a lot of situations. Uh, you can put points into stuff like sneak or lockpick 
or you know computer engineering all that it's one of those types of rpgs that's one reason i compare it to like the old school fallouts but again the, the combat is definitely more tricky than than fallout uh, was for sure uh, but this fight in particular probably shouldn't be too bad but we'll see and the premise by the way is pretty cool it's based on a book uh, uh, that whose name escapes me but in the in long and short of it is is you're on a colony ship that has left earth and it's on its way to some galaxy that's like hundreds and hundreds centuries away and there's no like most gate most you know sci-fi movies you go to cryo sleep and then you wake up in 500 years this one that doesn't exist so there's going to be generations of people who live on the ship and see nothing but the ship right they've never seen earth they'll never see the destination because it's so far away and you're one of those people you you were born uh, well after we left earth and we're way too far out that there's no chance we'll ever see the actual destination so you're you're kind of dealing with the people who are stuck here all of which who had no choice in this because all their you know their great grandparents or whatever decided to to do this so it's it's uh, it's a very interesting premise i really like the idea yeah there we go orphans of the sky i i want to read the book now because i really like the premise anyway let's beat this guy to death with a wrench you have a bunch of different combat options we can do aim shots for like the head, the feet, the, the arms. Uh, and each attack has different attributes. Like one might be easier to hit, but do less damage. Another one might lower their chance to hit for a while. Another one makes it so that it lowers their evasion. So you, you want to plan out your attacks, right? Like, so I usually go for the legs first because that hurts their evasion, which makes them easier for everybody in the party to hit. We have a 75% chance to hit. So let's go for it nice ooh and i just crippled right before i critical so there's a special added effect if you cripple so in this case i crippled him so i kneecapped him for two turns i'm not sure what kneecapping does but uh it sounds like a real bastard but you can see our chance to hit now is higher than it was because we did do the uh evasion thing but i really love the premise of this game that's one reason i i wanted to play it that and it did remind me of fallout and we all know i like fallout just a little bit all right, so this guy is probably... He's running pretty good for being kneecapped. He didn't get too far, though. Oh, we have to reload. This damn rifle only has one bullet in it. It's a starter weapon, though. And this game is in early access, though. Just keep that in mind. This game is early access, but it's only 25 bucks, I think. What game do I play? What do you mean? Oh, what games on stream or just in general? Uh, streams. We'll be playing the Doom DLC this weekend. That'll be, that'll be something. Let's go for the bullseye. Let's go. Let's go all out. Fifty-five percent. I trust our chances. Damn it. Well, never mind. I guess. All right. So let's run back up. I really don't like this reaction attack thing. Like reaction attacks from attacks of opportunity from from moving within and moving out of threatening squares. We're going to get super nerdy with dialogue here, but but I'm fine with that type of attack of opportunity. I don't like reaction shots. It's kind of a, a free overwatch. Yeah, I, I'm not a big fan. Yes, I do a lot of different stuff. So uh, Saturdays is multiplayer day. We have a group that we play with that plays a variety of multiplayer games. Let's go for the legs again, because I think that evasion thing is about to wear off. <laughs> Why do you keep hitting my legs? We have a fast attack. It doesn't do as much damage, but we only have four AP action points. It's 80% chance. And also, if you are a numbers nerd, you can hit alt and it tells you everything that's affecting your chance to hit and your possible thing. So it's saying we got an 80% chance to hit, 20% chance to graze. Graze does half damage. And it tells you like why your chance to hit is what it is. So you know, it shows our base is 50, our perception's giving us 30%. We lose 15% because of the enemy's evasion. So it's got all that kind of cool crap if you're into that. And I, I am. And he's going for Evans. I can't blame him. Let's actually try this pistol. Really? Fine. Reload. It's still only 
This guy's got insane evasion. And apparently... I guess that missed. Oh, we have... Damn it. I don't think we should do anything with five. Eh, we got five. It's only 35% chance. And it worked. Nice. The numbers actually worked in our favor. Is DDO in the lead? I saw it and something else was tied, I thought. But it's like two. But yeah, so we have Saturdays. I'm just going to go for what ever has the highest chance to hit. That's usually aim shots at the legs, arms, and body here. Let's go for the legs. Or he could just crumple to the ground like the trash that he is. Nice. Take all this. Thank you very much. You voted for DDO? I think it, I think it'll be fun. I think if Bro Control can get over this design thing that's probably been changed 10 years ago. We definitely don't want to do another one right now. He needs to be healed up. Actually, no, wait, he's healed now. Wait, how, how is he healed? I mean, I'll take it. Did he level? I still don't think it's going to matter, though, because we're not going to. Here's the thing. Even if they didn't fix it, which seems crazy, but possible. It's not going to matter because we're probably mostly just going to play with each other anyway. So I, it's not really a big deal if they didn't. You know what I mean? Welcome back, Retro. Uh, but yeah, so we have Saturday multiplayer days. And like I said, I do play a bunch of different stuff. Uh, we ha I had a viewer request the Doom DLC, and I've been wanting to play that anyway. I should use that as an excuse, really, to play it. Dude, can I get up there? Try. Try to get up here, wherever this is. I want I want what's ever in here. But uh, yeah, so we have that going. Once the Doom DLC is over, I will actually... And I haven't made this official yet. I'm still kind of thinking about it, but it's it's getting pretty close. So Tuesday, we might start Fallout 1, the original Fallout. So if you guys are into one of the best RPGs ever made and want to see a, a playthrough of it, it will be starting, if not Tuesday, soon. But nobody's going to play. It's going to be like ESO. Nobody's going to play except on Saturdays. It's not going to matter. It's almost certainly not going to matter. Somebody's going to have to be the door opening bitch, though. McNeil. McNeil. That sounds like one of those old, like, 80s or 70s, like, cop, badass cop shows like, Damn it, McNeil! Do you know how much you cost this city? Hand over your badge and gun. It's one of those, one of those characters. Uh, see, how's life treating you? Do you hear about the stuff we found two weeks ago? An anti-riot officer dressed to kill. He chuckles at his own joke. The gear's in mint condition, like it was used. Lucky you. Luck has nothing to do with it. We were out there for almost two weeks, knee deep in dried up corpses. Must have been quite a fight. Armor burned through, implants fused to bones. One poor bastard's helmet melted around his head. Hell of a way to go if you ask me. That would be a horrendous way to go. Baccarat? Wow, that's impressive. That's an impressive misspelling. CK3 will go up there eventually. I just told you, like, I just, those types of games, they have no draw to me for multiplayer. I mean, again, they might be fun, but I have zero impulse to do them. Like, none. Just like with RPGs. Yes, that includes Divinity Original Sin. But I'm doing multiplayer. I would like to play Divinity Original Sin. But anyway, last plug. Last self, self plug. But yes, Fallout 1 will be starting. And we have a bunch of other games planned this year. I, I want to play through Warcraft 1 and 2. I don't play just old games, I swear. But I do want to play through Warcraft 1 and 2, the originals, at some point. Uh, we will be playing stuff like 
uh, what was it? Uh, Subnautica, the, se the sequel, is coming out in May. I will definitely be playing that. Maybe Resident Evil 8. I'm assuming the CJ will be playing Resident Evil 8, surely. I won't be able to watch, though, because I don't want spoilers. Games are still good. Games are still fantastic. We're still living in a, the golden age. Afrak! Oh, God. I miss Afrak. Was Afrak the one who had derpies? Uh, do you still have that gear? Gear that good? We sold it before Sarah finished cutting out the implants. Top shelf stuff. Brother Solomon sent me. He wants his deacon back. You kidding me? Oh, what the hell? Hmm. I don't know what this is. Let's find out. You kidding me? That bastard must have heard we were flush with credits and had the fucking nerve to ask for his cut. Can you believe this shit? He wants his cut. He can earn it on our next run. Uh, let's see. He comes with you as long as he is... Uh, wait. He comes with you. He's good as dead. First timers don't last long on deep dives. He doesn't want a cut. The church does. You sure you want them as an enemy or don't make it harder than it has to be? Uh, our guy is more of a, like, in-your-face, like, look, I don't have time for this shit. So let's go with, don't make it harder than it has to be. That's what he said. Thank you for the lurk, CJ Hope. Again, guys, go follow her. Can I get another shout-out for CJ Hope, please? There's three of us. You really think you're that good? Oh, wait, shit, was there? Let's see how this goes. It confuses me that I am in red, too. So I'm okay with starting here for me. Evans. You really can't move much. Oh, God damn it. I forgot to reload the guns. I really wish it would reload guns after combat. What? Oh, the pistol doesn't like you to be up close, I guess. Oh, yeah, that's right. It doesn't. You can't be, like, right in their face. 72% for McNeil. We probably should take him down pretty quick, which if we even can. Uh, we're going to not because I had to reload. Oh, whoops. No, no. And then you need to use your field. You can't use a grenade here, but... I like your emoji, Retro. Wait, what did BB do? Did you both do it? Well, good. Shout her out some more. All right, let's go for another leg shot. Because it's all about getting their chances to, to dodge low. Damn it, how did you miss 72? Come on. Go ahead and reload. Pretty sure we don't have any three shot or three AP shots. Okay, now we don't. Ooh. These machine guns look pretty nice. So let's find out if grenades affect us too. It sure does. But I'm melee. Surely being blinded doesn't hurt much. Actually, apparently it doesn't. Crippled. And now let's go for the hands to release. Oh no, we only got three three points left. Alright, that's fine. Oop, Evans just got fucked up. Rip Evans. He knew the risk. Apparently the AI is really bad about complete like apparently they will pick out the weakest member and do everything they can to get them currently and apparently you can even exploit that so if you have somebody in the party who's really weak you can actually start the combat and then like run them out and the enemies like the ai will like chase after them and completely ignoring you uh, so you apparently you can abuse that pretty well uh, we're definitely not gonna win this fight by the way um But now it doesn't say he's... 
Oh yeah, I guess it, it ran out. It's only one round. Of course. It seems like the enemies always go for something that lowers your AC too. Or not AC, but your chance to hit, which your chance to hit is already not great. Or your, uh, so... No, or your AP, which is in also not great. No, actually our AP is fine. We have 10. Go for the head. Jeez. I mean, we'll end up reloading this. I just want to see how many people we can kill. Apparently they took our shield out like immediately. All right. I want to try this dialogue thing. Let's say he comes with you. He's good as dead. First timers don't last long on deep dives. Looks like we lost a little bit. What do you want me to say? I let this slide and they think me weak. It's not a good reputation to have. We need streetwise too for that. Uh, let's see. Eh, we'll try it, I guess. Ooh, that actually... So even a failure does increase your skill. That's pretty cool. The church, he asks, finally looking at the problem from a different angle. Actually, no, it looks like we passed. Yeah, I do like the ragdolls. I, I like ragdoll in any game, really. Persuasion 3 versus Streetwise 4. I mean, this one is slightly better. Don't think of it as a shakedown. You give them 10%, they let everyone know they got your back. It's a good deal, Jimmy. Nope, that one definitely failed, but it still went up. I'll take my chance. All right, so this is the one where you... Oh, so, oh we can actually go ahead and leave. Let's see if we can abuse the AI. We'll try this one more time. I don't want to waste a lot of time just trying to win win fights, especially when we're just, you know, doing things. You know what I mean? Uh, see, this is the only squares he can be in. And I'm going to have him, like, run back and see if he can't just train those guys around. Probably not, but... Oh, you can actually lockpick in the middle of battle. That doesn't seem like a great idea, but... I forgot to fucking reload again. I think I'll be able to shoot. No, they're all blocked, so might as well reload both guns. No, he didn't. He didn't go after him. So maybe either they fixed that, or maybe it takes some other criteria. Who knows? Really throw this so it's going to hit two of them without hitting me too. All right, let's just melee this guy. Nice. Go for the hands. How much is it? Six AP. Perfect. Ooh, 92% because we maimed him first. He still hits us for eight. Ooh, but we get the counter attack. I don't know how many reaction attacks you can get. Oh, it's, I'm pretty sure it's not just one. Yeah, because we just got another one. So I'm not sure if there's like a limit. All right, so he's going to have to come in pretty far. Of course, the one guy he can see is blocked. Of course. Uh, oh, he can see Diver from here. Not the Holy Diver, just the regular one. Let's do... Is it his accuracy? Hopefully. Nice. Ooh, and staggered him, too. Can we 
How much hit points does he have? 11? Fast attack is 9 to 14. Let's do a regular attack. It's only 5, and it might one-shot him. Maybe. 57%. Not great. Uh, fuck! No! Nice. Uh, now, the hard part is going to be surviving. Oh, nice reaction attack. We want to get this guy dead, if at all possible. Actually, you know what? Ah, fuck the can. I was going to say get in, like, get in the line of sight there to block him off, but... Is there anything we can do two shots of? Something with seven. We can do snapshot. We can do two regular shots, 12 to 14 damage. Oh, fuck. It's out of goddamn ammo. I hate this fucking gun. Can't you? What? Why can't I shoot him? He's clearly in line of sight. I, I guess maybe there's something there that I can't see. What the? What the fuck? Uh, I'm gonna guess this is a bug. I cannot shoot him. Well, that's annoying. Um, I guess we'll just do regular shots. Yeah, I don't know why I can't shoot him. He's clearly in line of sight. Uh, you okay there, diver? I don't know if that's your actual name or... How much hit points? He's got nine. Fast attack does nine plus. I mean, he could have some armor, but there we go. Scoot across the room, you little bitch. Uh, I don't want him in the line of sight, so he's going to kind of hide. Evans. 54% Are you kidding me? Get shit the fuck out of here. Go for the legs. Nice. Uh, we have enough. Well, actually, we don't. We have to use the other gun anyway. Go for the hands. 64%. Luckily, that worked. He missed some of his shots. Look at this little bitch. See, if I run... Well, actually, if I could run here... This guy's worse than all the other ones. See, the problem is if he gets a shot off... Well, fuck it. We'll go in there. We'll try it. Pray he doesn't. Yeah, yeah. I do not like... I think that's a bad mechanic. I think if if you're going to have something like that for ranged, that needs to be a perk or a feat. They shouldn't just get it for free. Like, that seems insane to me. The range, again, already has a huge advantage. And then giving them even more advantage on top of their advantages is insane. Now, granted, when you're close, I think some of them can't do ranged at all. Theoretically, even though I feel like I've seen them do it, but what? It's not out of range. Oh, it doesn't like it because I'm at an odd square. Ugh. All right, it's one of those. Well, we can't actually attack him. Oh no, we, we can do a quick attack. Sixty-nine, perfect. Sixty-nine. All right, so this shows I can see him. We have 13, 
four. Go for it. Ah, of course. Yep. That. <laughs> so yes, very, very, very RNG. RNG is going to play effect a lot. So we probably shouldn't be doing this fight. Uh, it's something that I would probably normally come back to at this point. Uh, but we had some really bad rolls at the end there. And some questionable shit with with other things. But but that's kind of how some of these games work. But because of the, the difficulty tuning, it definitely feels like it's more RNG based than a lot of other games. Like, yeah, you, like RNG can turn like a surefire loss into a win sometimes or vice versa. But it seems like this game, a lot of fights that are kind of can go either way are are well even if like you have a slight advantage rng is gonna fuck you more often than it would in another game i think uh, sarah sent me why the high security too many crews out here for an easy score these days we like to shift our merch quickly there's trouble that way i forget what this is for oh this is uh the medic the medic chick wanted us to pick up some... This guy owes her. So let's see what she he has. Later, BB. Thank you for coming out. Everybody go watch, go follow BB. She's streaming again later this month. So-called merch consists of three desiccated heads fixed to crude stands. Their withered expressions frozen forever in the rictus of their dying moments more than a century ago. Whether they were mutineers or security officers in their day, they stand united now. All three heads sport ocular and neural uplink implants. A rich haul, even if half the implants are fried. This one's a sergeant, I think. The scab points at the dental, the dented metal knob embedded in the left temple. A squad leader, maybe even tag team if you're lucky. Uh, oh, we actually do have biotech too. Oh, that's right, because she trained us, in, or somebody trained us in this. So let's examine the merchandise. And we actually got skill up in it. Nice. I, I really like any system that gives you, makes you better at thing by doing thing. So I automatically really like that that's in this. While you would need to extract the implants and run some tests to see if they're still functioning, other signs show problems with the tech. Superficial burns indicated power surge, bone loss around the devices, and scar tissue indicating frequent access for repair. The data jack on the leftmost head is fried, but the ocular seems fine, whereas the ocular on the head on the right has been repaired multiple times. Not a good sign, but the data jack looks functional. Out of the three, the Sarge is in the best shape. While the ocular was apparently destroyed by plasma fire, the squad leader and data jack show little wear and tear. Looks like this newly promoted soldier barely had time to enjoy his upgrades. Sierra said you have something for her. I owe her 500 credits, so the standard package should cover it. Uh, so he said, oh, let's see, what about the squad leader? Sorry, friend. Gear that rare never stays put for long. Got a buyer on the way as we speak. Uh-oh. As if on cue, the door slides open and a fully armored, heavy set man strides into the warehouse. He's trailed by a couple of flunkies. Hired, you're guessing, to squawk if something comes up his six. The big man pauses for a moment like a predator, sniffing the air and glances into every corner of the room. When his eyes land on you, he waits until his goggles get a read on you, then frowns. Clearly, this is a man who doesn't like surprises. Which one is mine? He nods at the grotesque heads. I'm going to say, sorry, buddy. First come, first serve. What's going on here, Jimmy? Asked the newcomer. Oh, that's not Jimmy. You know how I feel about people wasting my time? It's nothing, Manfred. This uh, fella was just making a joke, right, mister? Get the fuck out of here now. Nobody talks to you this way. Nobody. Don't do it, kid. And maybe you'll live to see the dawn. Yeah, I'm going to guess this is the developer's way of saying, yeah, don't do this fight. You aren't a violent man, but that fancy implant isn't the kind of thing you just stumble on in a scav camp. If these folks are willing to die for it, that only confirms its value attack yeah we're definitely gonna die oh god oh yeah we're definitely dead literally no chance 
Evans, go back here. You can watch me die. Oh, no, wait, no, you can't. And of course, I forgot to fucking reload again. Just reload between battles, please. Any time a game like this, just reload between battles. All right. Evan seems to have really high initiative, which is nice. I like somebody with initiative. So we have 12. I'm not going to waste a lot of time on this fight. You know, actually, oh, fuck. It costs 13. Let's hurt his chance to hit. Nice. Reload. And wait for the incoming bloodbath. There's no way we can hit them all because of this table. But we can get most of them with this grenade. And also keep in mind, we don't have all of our upgrades. Like I didn't end up buying armor, stuff like that. Chair fell. So we could be doing a little better. But I, again, I think this is a fight you're not supposed to win. And by the way, I think it's oh, I, I think it's totally fine that you have fights like this, right? Like in too many other. I mean, it, I guess it's not a negative thing per se, but, you know, a lot of other games you like, you just know you're going to win, right? Like. If there's a chance to fight, you fight and you're probably going to win. This game, not so much. Like you, you can see, unless these guys are completely just garbage. Excuse me, they're, you're not gonna, gonna win this. Um, I'm trying to think, I wanna go over here. I can take out Jimmy. And this way only one other person can get to me. Also this ranged guy might, uh, Manfred or whatever might get in the way. But Jimmy's not really our threat, but let's let's go ahead. I really don't like the reaction action. I like the reactions when they miss. I, I think reactions for moving is, is kind of silly. Unless, again, it's like a special perk or something. All right, um, Jimmy, how you doing, buddy? We only have seven AP. So we're only gonna get one attack. So let's just hit him as hard as we can. Interesting choice. Nice. <laughs> God, I love this shield. The free two damage is just so good. Wow, that's embarrassing. That's even more embarrassing. Nice. Well, things are going better than expected, thanks to, again, some very, very lucky rolls. We're not going to be shooting. Actually, no, we can shoot this guy. We can take him out. The shotgun dude's probably gonna smart, though. The guy with the melee, I'm not as concerned about. We're about to reload. I should have gave him that pistol, too. The, the other pistol. I keep forgetting about it. We can go in the inventory and grab it. And if we have a lot of points left over, we might, but... Just hit this guy's accuracy. Nice. We have five. Can we go into inventory with five? Yes. Well, obviously we're not going to do anything, but... Reload is two APs. So we can't do anything. All right. This is the fight that songs are made of. The bards will sing of our victory. So we're going to take it. How many? Jimmy has nine hit points left. Our fast attack does nine ish. Nice over the table. Now, the question is, do we try to kill him and get one less dude to deal with? Or do we go after Manfred? He's got 41 hit points. But if we get in his face, he can't shoot at us with it, except for quick shot. This guy I'm not as worried about. Let's go ahead and run up and try to deal with this guy. Eight, so we're all gonna get one hit in.
We could go for the head. It hurts at two perception and possibly knock out if we get lucky on a crit. 76%, that's not horrible. Versus 81. Let's go for a headshot. Nice, he's dazed, so he lost two perception, so he's gonna be, his accuracy is not gonna be great, but when his, the, the barrel of his gun is in my mouth, it's not a hard shot. So that's a, that's a snapshot. He could do a bunch of them, but they're not supposed to do that much damage, but you see they did quite a bit. Yeah, we didn't go heal or anything, so this is not definitely not optimal. We could have bought some like healing stuff. Wow. Uh, yeah, they, they're all now over here. So we had some decent grenades. We could maybe do some work here, but we don't. Fanning. What does that do? 9 to 13 damage. Grace chance. So I'm guessing it just shoots a bunch of bullets. Let's hurt his accuracy. His as well, hopefully. And we have four, probably nothing. Ooh, actually we can do a regular shot with this. We got 24. I mean, we're definitely dead this round though. We have like five hit points left. There's no way they're all gonna miss and our shielding is down, so. And it won't recharge until the vital's over, so. This guy has 18 hit points. Let's go for accuracy. Again, this is really one of our only chances is to make them make RNG actually work in our favor. 95% chance. Oh, we don't have enough AP. We have only four. We do a regular hit. 20. Wow, he's actually down to 20 hit points. Yeah. But we actually did better than I thought we were. We're not going to try it again. But we actually did better than I thought we were going to, given the, the circumstances there. I think if we went and bought more consumables, we'd actually have a better chance. We might go do that. Let's go look around and see what other quests we have around here. And again, we, we got super lucky on RNG there, which again, I, like I said, I'm starting to see a common theme where we lived longer and got closer to victory there just because we got, got lucky on rolls. And if we would have had grenades and stuff, we would have been able to take them out. Oh, here's Jed. Dark skin man in his 40s, reclining on the... the back legs, blah, blah, blah. The fuck you want? He asked, raising the bore of his weapon a little less than an inch. Uh, Jed was the one who owes money. You know what? Let's let's try this again. I'm, I'm doing this just to kind of show the different options. So let's actually ask him, you owe, you owe 1,200 credits. What about it? He obviously annoyed, but since he's already aiming a shotgun at your head, I'm sure... It isn't sure how to express it. I'm here to collect. Son, take yourself a quick look around. Anything here you can ship for 1,200 credits, it's all yours. I'm only at one percent. Again, you can succeed on these, but I think if you have that number, you're guaranteed to get it. Ooh, reputation combat. With a shotgun like this, you shouldn't have any trouble raising money. See, I wonder how, what is that based on though? Like how much people you've killed maybe? Let's try that. Look, I don't have the money, but if you really want to help me, I know a way to clear two grand minimum, but I can't do it alone. Ever heard of Black Will? His parents named him What God Will, but he shortened it to Will. A little later, some other folks tacked on the rest when they saw what kind of man he was. I heard he was somewhere in the factory. Yeah, he was, but Black Will wore out his welcome, and right now he's laying low, conveniently close by. There are two more with him, at least half as black as Will, but if you back me up, me and you can do this town a favor and settle my debts, all for an afternoon's work. What do you say? Sure. My afternoon's wide open. You best get ready, then. I'll wait for you here. Okay, so I can start it whenever I want, I guess. So let's go... Let's go ahead. Is this, now we're fighting a lot of areas with combat. Let's go back. 
and buy some armoire. You just had guns, right? Oh shit! Oh, we actually—oh, we had more stuff too. I forgot about completely. Shit! Uh, you do not want this gadget. This gadget, uh, like, gives you some, like, resistance or, or blocks damage. I think, uh, but you cannot melee with it. So he gets that. Obviously, I get this little arm protector with damage resistance one on both. Uh, let's see. This is definitely better. Damn it! I'm pissed that I forgot about that. But also not shocked at all. So he's got that. He's got the worker boots. Let's reload. I'm thinking about it. I'm gonna put, give him that pistol. I'm actually going to unload that weapon. Okay. Oh, there's... Okay, there's the shotgun. That's the pistol. They just look somewhat similar. And by somewhat, I mean they look very similar. So let's sell real fast. And as far as I know, your charisma or your, your whatever your social skill is, I don't think it has any effect on, on selling. I don't think. Street Sweeper, 11 to 14, 13 to 12, holds two rounds, holds four. Uh, I'll hold on to them just in case we're going to keep it. And we also had more grenades. God, I mean, dumbass. That's why you got to pay attention. Great example. Wait a minute. I looked at it backwards, didn't I? Yep, I did. That's why you quick save all the time. I've almost done that several times. But finally, I did it. How much is this worth? 200? Oh my god, it's worth 200? When we have three sweet sweeper. Damn it, idiot. I should have sold this stuff earlier. Oh, wait, no, that's bats. Oh, we have three bats, so we can sell two. I want to keep one street sweeper just in case you want to try her out. Uh, laser pistol. 17 to 21 damage. Holy shit. Maybe we'll actually try using that. Oh, we don't have any ammo for it, I don't think. Nope. Okay, that's why. We'll hold on to it in case we do get good ammo, but how much money do we have now? I don't know. Do you guys see the ammo? I mean, not ammo. There it is. Credits. 768. I can buy that big hammer. I really want to try the hammer. The ammo, the armor was in the other place, wasn't it? So was the... You know what, let's try the hammer. I'm going to get the hammer. Again, since we're not playing this game long term, we can, we can mess around a little bit. Wait, who had, wait, who had it? General store? I mean, I would definitely go down to my general store to buy a gigantic murder hammer. Steal some ammo. You strike the shortkeeper and grab a handful of shotgun shells. Hell yeah. I can sell them now if I want to. Probably should go back to those other stores and sell. I like that. I think that's a good way to do the trade system, by the way. Or the stealing system. This is totally a mistake, but. What we're going to do, though, is save it into a different slot. In case we do decide to mess around a bit. Hammer time. Oh, 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 okay. We're not going to go back, but we probably should. If I was playing for real, I would totally go back to those shops and rob them blind. I always forget I had that. I forgot I had the rifle in my offhand. Let's do that. Okay. Where was the one fight that we might could actually win? 
not the Jimmy fight. There we go, over here. This one I think we could do, because we got really close on this one. I want to try this hammer out, basically. I was looking for a reason to hammer the people in the face. Okay, Evans. Do the pistol at first, or the rifle at first. Activate your shield. Me, activate my shield. We won't use the grenade here. Okay. Yeah, Evans apparently has a really good initiative. He has, I don't know how many hit points. Oh, there it is, 45, 50. And, oh, we're blocked, we're blocking, all right. All right, let's go ahead and go with evasion first to help my boy, my boy, me, take him out. All right, so we have five AP. Different guns have different AP costs too. You have to keep that in mind. So just because I don't have enough AP to use the rifle, I can still do other stuff, like this regular shot. Take that deal. We don't have enough to reload, that's fine. See, the, the shield blocks some damage, but not all. I don't quite know how it works. Let's zoom in so you can see the look in their eyes as they die. Ooh, swing. I'm guessing that does like, oh, nice. So it hits enemies next to him. That's cool. Oh God, we can go sledgehammer to the head. How much does this cost? Nine AP. That would leave us with three. And that's almost certainly not gonna be enough to do anything. 17 to 22 damage. 72%. Let's go with this, the evasion or the chance to hit and you know nice damage oh right in the sides that's got a smart jesus had that two hit chance being dropped by the way if you like the look of this game but you want something more not early access uh well he's dead then they also have a game called age of decadence Yeah, it's supposed to be really good. They also have a game called Dungeon Rats. I think Dungeon Rats is more combat focused, though. Damn. You need something quick because he's low on health. Six AP. Nice. Obviously, we're not going to keep this because they haven't said you want. Let's just quickly. We'll try it one more time, and otherwise we'll, we will we might just go ahead and re-roll a social character just to kind of see, and we'll kind of blow through the beginning and see how different it is, if there's anything too much different in the beginning. But we'll see. Go ahead and move up there. I don't know why that X is there, but... Also in the beta, like you or in the demo, you can actually see your party members here. I don't know why you can't do that now. Sure. God damn it. Go for the legs. Nice. It was a graze, but it's still... Actually, no, it doesn't count with a graze, I guess. AP4. Don't have anything to do or don't have enough to do anything. Oh, the shield's down. Got a reaction attack, at least. Oh, 
Yeah, see, now they're all going to focus on him. Wait, oh, I can hit him? I just want to do this to see it. Bam! Oh, shit. Oh, it's, I can do it again. Uh, nice. Oh, shit. That's badass. I mean, he's going to die, Rip, but... Uh, yeah, you can only do the snapshot because he's too close. Oh, at 33% for some reason. Uh, I guess because debuffs. Yeah, the enemies love to debuff the shit out of you. And you can't really do much at that point. Nice. I mean, he's still going to die, but... Because, like I said, the, the minute, like, they, it's like they pick, I think they just pick an imp, uh, one of your characters, and then they just all go for them. At that point. Like, regardless of what seems to happen. I love that swing, though. That shit's badass. It, well, if, you, if they're close together. Otherwise, obviously not very good. Ooh, kneecap, bitch. And knocked out. Ain't that a kick in the head. One thing we can do is a quick attack. Bonk. Ooh, on the head too. Yikes. And of course he criticals. Because of course he does. He's like, ah, fuck this. All right, what is our best chance to hit here? 67. Critical, nice. Nice. I was kind of hoping he would do that to get that reaction attack. Yeah, it seems like uh, these machine guns or whatever they are, they seem pretty insane. Uh, this guy is like bugged in general. Like, I have a hard time like targeting, but I went for the head. And yes, once you guys are dead, they're dead. So really what I should have done the minute I saw that they were targeting him, I should have just ran him away. Just ran him out. Man, they had a ton of loot though. I'll do the next part of this quest and we'll try to make a new character with social. That'd be funny. I'm a deacon and my name is Deacon. It was, it was preordained. Brother Salmon, Salmon, Brother Solomon sent me to get you. Praise the Lord, whispers the deacon, making the sign of a cross. Rip Evans, you will be remembered. But yeah, obviously you would not want to be able to, you would not want to lose party members in this game. Because that is, uh, you're pretty much boned. Uh, where is, oh, can I just do this? Ooh, I can. Oh, thank Christ. Thank you for that. It's good to see you in God's house again, brother. I had to kill McNeil to free your deacon. I didn't have to. We may find peace and salvation. The Lord works through many people. Some wield his word, others the fiery sword to keep the devil at bay. Will you be his sword, brother? If it pays well, why not? You aren't lost, brother. You only think you are. What's the job? A man came to see me. Not Braxton, not Jonas, but me. He asked for help, but all I could do is lift his spirits and give him hope to last a bit longer. For I knew the Lord would send someone. Find that man and ease his sufferings, brother. So you want me to find a man with no name? The man himself might be hard to find, but the source of his problems should be easy enough to track down. Could you be more vague, jackass? You're like the most vaguest bastard in the world. Also, look at all that gear. Nice upgrade on that. Oops. Hey, it's not silver. In line. Uh, swords would be a easier to pick through. See, Evans, if you would have survived, 
You would have got a sweet ass jacket, but oh no. You had to get focused down by everybody the second they realized that you were easy pickings. An assault rifle? Bet he would love that. Murder for some murder someone for you, Evans. And there are other are other party members you can get. Now the one thing though about this character is the number of companions you can get is based on your charisma. And with this charisma, you can only have one. Now you can get mods to increase that, but you know, it's it's not as bad, I don't feel like losing somebody with him. Uh, just because you know that you can that, that you know you can eventually get somebody else. And you're limited to one anyway. Alright, so let's make a new character real quick. I do like the game. I'm gonna be interesting what they interested in what they do. The combat is definitely very, very tricky. And like I said, it does feel very, very RNG. Like more than most of these games tend to be. Go with that. Pretty cool hair. I can't even really really see it. It's so damn small. So at least try to make it match the portrait. Uh, looks like we're not going to be doing that. That's fine. All right, so let's try to make a more brain character. I want a little bit of constitution. Perception is probably good. Let's go with that. As far as our tag skills, this persuasion, already getting people to see your point of view, increases the potential benefit of a longer lifespan. Streetwise, a keen eye for other people's hidden desires and weaknesses will allow you to manipulate both foes and friends. Impersonate, different situations require different faces. Be the person you need to be, or at least until you get what you want. Uh, let's see what we got. Cult leader. Party earns plus 20% experience. Followers gain a plus one natural DR. Hmm, that's okay. Mastermind. Extra feat every three levels, starting at level two. 50% skill learning rate. We're not going to play long enough for that to really matter, but I can see long term that being pretty useful. Uh, Captain. Party members only. Accuracy plus 10, reaction plus 20, critical chance plus 10. I like this. I like these feats that that are buffing the party, not you. I like that. Like just you're you're a leader, not a doer, which I mean, that's a lot of corporate environments. You guys know what I'm talking about. Uh, let's see. Plus one tag skill, plus 20 extra experience, which again, I would totally get that if we were playing more long term. Uh, discounts and unique deals. Stealth. Let's try the um, let's try the discount. We can buy more stuff for our tag skills. I think we remember. I remember seeing Streetwise for sure. So we'll go ahead and tag that one, I suppose. We'll obviously put one in each of those. And we'll do a steal. Oh, you, that's right. You can tag four. I think I only tagged one for some reason before. I was thinking you could only tag one. Uh, so obviously I want to tag all of these. And probably evasion. Well, I mean, if we're talking already about a lot of situations, it's not a big deal. So let's do sneak. Skip that. Let's go with the machine gun. That seemed really good. Let's go with the camp knife. Just to mix it up.
We'll call this one a talker. But yeah, I'm definitely interested to see this. I will say that I probably will not... I don't know if you can just keep doing this. I think it's probably a skill-based thing. I will probably not play it until it's like ready to go. RPGs, I, I don't have a problem with with early access at all. In fact, I like early access. I think it's I think it's generally a good thing as long as you're you're smart about what you do. Oh, sweet! Now we have the one pick. Uh, as long as you you know smart about what you pick, not pick lock, but games you pick. But RPGs is kind of, I don't know, it's kind of weird for me, right? Because it's like you... Like, I don't know, it, it's because like you come back to it in six months or whatever, and then you start over from scratch, which I guess is not a big deal if it's been that long. You can try different builds, things like that. But I don't know, it's, I'm, I'm more akin to, or more, more likely to not. Uh, let's try to approach the junkies. Let's see what happens this time, if, if, if we have the option to talk our way out of it. All right, so streetwise. Do I look like an easy mark to you, you dumb fuck? I was just playing. It's all good, girl, says the junkie, taking a step back. Nice. But yes, apparently you can talk your way out of a lot. Now, again, not everything, which I think that's the way it should be. I don't think it's realistic that you could talk your way out of, like, every single situation ever. And maybe in some special games, like, that, that's possible... But I do think you should have to fight sometimes because it, it's if you know you don't ever have to fight, if you know you can always talk your way out, it becomes too easy to just completely ignore any combat options, right? You just not even pay attention to it. And I don't think that's I don't think that's a good thing. I'm curious if we can see any of these special deals. Managed to strike the storekeeper and strike a heads up display. Nice. Already seeing that stealing is a very good thing. I mean, don't steal kids, but but seriously though, stealing is awesome so far. And none of the armor is really... Like, none of it seems to help non-combat stuff. Like, you don't have anything that's, I, I don't know, increases your ability to... I don't know, like, detect when they're lying or something. I don't think that's a thing, or at least not yet. I'm trying to remember who actually gave us quests. Right now, I'm not seeing any of these so-called special deals, but... I already got it. Wait, do we have the option to steal from him? Oh, I meant to... I started to say this earlier. I like the way this game does steal. Because every other game, you know how it works. You have X percentage chance to steal. You quick save. You try to steal. If you get caught, you reload. And then you keep doing it over and over until it works. So let's just skip the middleman and make it so that if you have a certain skill level, it works 100% of the time. If you don't, there's a chance. So at that point, if you want to save scum it, you can. But... Yeah, some of these I'm just talking to them to see if... I don't think your options change based on your stats. I think you see all the options all the time, at least from what we've seen so far. Who is that again? Oh, Jonas. That's the guy that we have to... That What's-His-Face wants us to disrupt at some point. I see nothing... Down here. There's an elevator. I don't think we want to go there yet. So I'm just trying to remember the quests that we did a long time ago, aka seconds ago. Oh, there's Tanner. Or no. Oh yeah, he's the one who's going to give us the quest, I think. What kind of job? Is it real? Okay. Actually, he was going to offer me a job, I think. Oh, yeah, that's the guy that... 
owed money and was going to offer to go with us to, to do a job to make up for it. So I'm already kind of seeing some of the alternate ways like it's, that you could go through. Like, right, we could have beat his ass and then took whatever he had, which wouldn't have been enough to cover. But, you know, we, we proved the point. Don't owe that guy money or you get your ass whooped. Which is all well and good. Here's Abe's. Let's get some sweet ass armor first. We'll go ahead and buy stuff, because like I said, we're not going to play too much longer. I just want to see some of the various things that might come up with this different build. Ooh, that's some nice... They have 90? Shit, yeah. Yeah, we would have done better if I would have just came back and bought armor on the other guy, but... Like I said, we're, we're trying to give it, you know, the, the rough... Uh, rough idea of how this works. 75 for that, sure. This stuff we'll get later. See, I'm already kind of metagaming it though, right? So I'm like, oh, I know I'm going to get some of this armor soon. So I'm not going to grab it. And I think that's one of the big, big complaints from folks who are playing this is that it feels like stole some more. Nice. Uh, that you, you kind of need to know what's coming and you need to know where to get certain things. So you end up metagaming it. Which, again, I'm, I personally, so far it doesn't feel like it. you have to, but it obviously helps. But that's like literally every RPG to ever been been made. But I, I think the, the tuning on the combat is definitely very, very tight, which is going to make make RNG a bigger factor, right? Because if, you know, if, if even if you should win a fight, that RNG can flip it really quick because the enemy is going to do so much damage. And especially because all the attacks hurt your stats, like your chance to hit, your AP, uh, your chance to not get hit more. So I could definitely see a, a domino effect, right? Where things are, even if they're kind of going your way, you get hit with a, a hit at a bad time or get a crit. And not only do you take extra damage, oh, well, now you're knocked down. So you lose a turn or you're easy to hit. And now the other enemies who would not have normally killed you, killed you because they, they get free hits on you. So I definitely feel like RNG absolutely can play a, a bigger role in this for sure, possibly. Let's see, 835. Let's sell them boots. Uh, let's use some grenades just to at least show them off. How about that? We have the flashbang. I think the, we'll do a gas grenade. We'll get the nice one. I was going to buy this bionic eye as well. And a shield. Uh, how much is that? Oh. Uh, we'll do this. I want a sweet ass bionic eye, is pretty much the long and short of it. And it's it, like. Because that's another been big defense of the game so far has been, oh, well, you know, make sure you're buying stuff for your characters. And it's like, well, it's hard to tell what kind of stuff is really useful, right? Like how useful is, you know, a DR, right? Your, your damage resistance, like how useful is it? Because in some games, like one or two AC or whatever isn't that big of a deal. But in some games, it is. And I feel like DR in this game is probably a pretty big deal. Now let's go and see what transpires. Is try to talk her way out of this one instead of just murdering them. What money? You deaf? Jonas is money. He owns the pit. So if it's about time you fucking freeloader started paying your fair share. It doesn't have to go this way. In which way is that? Asked the older man softly. You can see he's been counting heads and running odds while the kid's been talking. You leave the store in a body bag. Well, I guess you do have to fight here. Maybe not. Might not be me, says the older man, smiling. It's not a good smile. Are you willing to bet your life on it? On what might or might not happen? That's one hell of a gamble, friend. You're saying we leave empty-handed? Scoffs the older man. You have a feeling he wants a way out. Apparently, the kid gets the same impression. What are you two talking about? Asks the kid. It's two against two. Hell, I could kill both of them myself. Ooh, so we could do either Henry here. 
uh, street-wise, it's three against two. Abe's a lousy shot, but even he can't miss at this range, not with that hand cannon he's carrying. Or persuasion. And then what? Collecting tax is one thing. Killing folks over, it's another. You cross that line, you'll end up dead sooner than you think. Let's go with that. Let's go with... Let's try this. Have it your way. We're going. The kid tries to protest, but this... But for all his talk, the only thing he shoots is a blank look. Nice. The door is shut behind the gun thugs, and Evans breathes a sigh of relief. Then gunfire erupts outside. What do we do now? asks Evans, visibly shaken. We had to see it through, I suppose. It's your call. I reckon I'll stick with you until this thing blows over. Welcome abroad. Uh, also, let's see, how many... It should say how many... People I can have with me. <laughs> Max followers, three. So I can have three followers for a party of four. I'm good at math, by the way. Oh, no. So I'm guessing he shot them. What happened here? What does it look like? They opened fire. We returned it. Ooh, Intelligence 7. They weren't eager to draw on me, yet you expected me to believe that they started shooting at you and you boys not a minute later? I paid them to start a fight at Abe's store, not to run away the first chance they got. None of that changes the fact that Pitt can use a makeover. The problem is, Jonas doesn't really run the town. He keeps Main Street nice and clean, but doesn't give a damn about the growing camp town around it. Or maybe he just doesn't know what to do about it. Either way, he'll lose control soon enough. And then what? Chaos? Gangs fighting for control? I can't say I like your methods, but you do have a point. What can I do to help that you man can't? Quite a lot, actually. If we move against Jonas, he'll claim that the regulators are taking over, and many would side with it. Okay, so that's the same thing. I will say, yeah, we're in. Okay. Um, let's see. We're going to save this town. That's quite a burden you're taking on yourself. Um, uh, let's be a goody two-shoes. I can't stand by and do nothing. Men like Braxton and Jonas ain't some thugs that nobody would shed a tear over. They have friends, and I reckon these friends won't be too pleased to hear about your involvement. Just don't say I didn't warn you. Shut up, Evans. Evans, you're already the Ian. Even though, at least you're not shooting me in the back with your fully automatic rifle with the Uzi. All right. Let's see. How are you doing gear-wise, Evans? Yeah, you're all right, I guess. Let's go to the med bay and get that quest. Ooh, we can see if we can talk that out of them. That'd be interesting. Ooh, we have two steel. I won't steal it. Just so we, again, no point in safe scumming at this point. Looking for work. Where can I find him? All right. How much money do we have left, by the way? 237? Okay. We'll go talk to the church about the deacon. Evans being a half-ass bitch. Excuse me. We'll go talk to her. Mkadoke. Go to Camp Town. I think that's... I don't think there's any quest for us to do here, so let's go ahead and go on over to Camp Town. 
Camp Town Lady, sing this song, dude. All right, let's go see if we can get the implant. We have the eye, the actual implant itself. I don't... So maybe that's what the machine does. That's... You have to go to the machine to actually put the implant in. I'm assuming you can't... It's not like a contact. I can't just jam it into my eyeballs. I can try, though. Stand in the middle of the street and just keep jamming it in. Nobody will think nothing of it. All right. Please be advised that once the implant is installed, it can't be removed without causing severe physical and nervous damage. Such actions are forbidden under Article 12 of the Employment Standard Act of 2496, willful damage to company property. Jam that thing into my eye. The machine injects you with a long expired anesthetic and pauses to allow the drug to kick in. Unfortunately, time has made the anesthesia sluggish and the machine gets back to work faster than the nerves shut down. A stabbing pain almost instantly blossoms into agony. You'd scream if you could, but all you can do is gasp like a fish. Then the pain stops all at once, as if your nervous system was simply taken offline. Abject darkness. And when you can open your eyes, you even seeing is kind of a pain. Every light white hot, every edge razor sharp, every detail like a needle in your retina. This is the world in excruciating clarity, in which you now live with radically enhanced vision. Nice. Now put the other eye in. Oof, especially the eyes. Like, oh, no, not the eyes. Boo. Now this you cannot do without fighting, so no point in, in doing that right now. She have a sweet ocular eye thing. Now, what's our perception at now? Not that it, I mean, I, I'm sure there's sometimes we have to fight, but. So that'll be useful. Neat, okay, cool. Shadowrun boss in lockdown. I only played the base game of Shadowrun, and I wasn't that crazy about it. I was kind of shocked because like everybody was saying that Shadowrun was really good. And yeah, I didn't. I, it was okay, but I didn't think it was was great. Oh yeah, somebody's gonna hack my eyes like Cyberpunk. Ah, damn it. You know, I'm just going to sell that pistol. Must own a gun. All right. Again, we're just grabbing all these quests. I don't, I'm, we won't be doing all of them for sure, but. Oh, I think that, yeah, that's the quest to go talk to Manny, I think. Uh, but we want to go over here because we know we have two quests over here. And I want to see how these quests play out with more of a streetwise character. May the Lord have mercy on your soul because your ass is mine. Where is... Hey, was it, oh, is it way the hell over here? I'm kind of lost. The second and third games were better. Ah, okay. Yeah, I heard I had heard that too. Especially the 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 Asian themed one. I have no idea where my character is. There we go. Um I think we're in the wrong area. I think I ran by it. Yes, we did. Let's go over here first. I'm curious again how to see how this is different. What did I, I think I went like a, a melee orc character. I in these types of games I don't know what it is, but I like doing melee now. Like I used to, like I used to be totally about the sniper run throughs, which I still like, and I will be doing that for Fallout. But uh, but uh, yeah, I I do. I'm starting to like getting into me like doing melee. All right. Oh, this position starts higher, I guess, because I have a higher charisma and stuff. That's cool.
Let's go with this one. He doesn't want to cut, the church does. You sure you don't want them for an enemy? Me? I didn't start this shit. That fucking weasel did when he tried to shake me down. Let's go with the streetwise. Don't you think it was a little bit too easy? A deacon comes in and makes outrageous demands, practically forcing you to do something stupid? What are you saying? Asked McNeil. They're playing me? They need an excuse to roll in. The deacon plays a victim. His trigger-happy friends come to his rescue and take over your operation in the process. You let this deacon go. They have no choice but to call it off. No, oh, that was actually successful, too. Or at least, overall, it was. I like how it shows your base that you started with in the skills and how much you gained during. That's pretty cool. Fucking bastards! I'll let the deacon go if they still have a problem with me. So it looks like... If that works the way I think it worked, is it's not one of those things in standard RPGs where it's either pass or fail, and if you fail, boom, conversation over. Like... And then you and then you reload and do it again. So, uh, hey, Jetpack, how's it going? I have not played Age of Decadence. Oh, yeah, I started. Yeah, I mentioned it earlier, but this game, this game dev do, did do Age of Decadence and uh, Pit Pit Rats or Arena Rats, something like that. Age of Decadence, I think, is more of a standard RPG. And it's supposed to be really good. I've heard really good things about it, but I have not played it myself. So that's another reason if you're a bit wary about early access games, especially RPGs, this get this company does have a track record of two two games that if you go check have good ratings on on Steam. So this isn't just some dev that showed up out of nowhere. Yeah, I heard good things about it. It's it didn't get much press at all. Like I th I've heard of it just here and there, but I'd never never like heard about it like in the press or, or anything like that. Uh, so I, as well as games I would probably like if I got around to playing it, but I do know it's difficult. Yes, I love the premise of this game. As I've, I've mentioned that a few times. Oh, we actually traveled all the way back. All right, cool. I rescued your deacon. There's no, this bullshit email has no greater calling than serving the Lord, brother. Found a man with a name. Okay. So that went a little smoother. I will say too, at least so far, having going the the social route is way way easier. I love quick travel too, sweet Jesus. I hate when people like quick travel. I don't like quick travel. It makes the world seem small. Then don't fucking use it. Like I don't want to spend. 20 minutes getting back to where I was like I appreciate that you do that's fine but no I do not yeah you need to min-max the hell that's yeah that would be my biggest complaint is it does sound like there's you can't really have fun builds it's more about you've gotta you've gotta really min-max and allegedly like the developers have been pretty adamant and I will say this about the developers too the developers, from what I've read on the the Steam forums, have been very active. Like, there's a big thread talking about the difficulty. And the devs have been very open about talking about the difficulty. You know, they've asked people, like, oh, if you're having trouble, what kind of build do you have? Like, what, what in particular do you think is hard about this fight? This kind of thing. They're not dismissing it out of hand. They're not... They, the only time they would talk down to people was, frankly, people who deserved it people who are being snotty and uh, yeah it's not professional but i really don't give a shit like if uh if you're snotty to the dev i don't care if they're snotty back to you frankly yeah oh no we don't have to do biotech sleepy time for me catch you later people later. leave <laughs> i love people leave um anyway why am i i'm off to the side uh but thank you banana hands for the 69 bits i much appreciate it have a good night and we'll be wrapping up here soon but uh, i do appreciate the bits thank you for coming out to check out this game i hope you liked it I hope it was if you didn't like it i hope at least it was entertaining but but yes i do appreciate the developers are 
are not just like, hoo, hoo, get good, hoo, hoo. like they're actually taking feedback and listening to it. So that's another big plus as far as I'm concerned, because a lot of I feel like a lot of games go early access and then you hardly ever see them post anywhere about anything. So they do seem to be listening about the difficulty. Again, they're not just like, nope, it's it's where we want it. Tough titty. So I appreciate that. But but that said, yes, the developers, at least the one who's been posting, really seems to have the attitude of, well, pretty much you don't have to min-max. Like, yes, you can't just put points randomly, which I agree with. I think that's dumb. There's two extremes, right? There's one extreme where only a few very specialized builds will work with no points wasted. And then the other stream, or the other extreme is you could literally put your points anywhere or not spend them at all and still beat the game, right? There And there's, there's shades of gray in there. And I am okay with be leaning more on the, you need more specialized builds, but obviously you don't want a case where there's like four or five builds you can beat the game with, and otherwise you're just reloading and save scumming the entire time. We'll try this biotech thing. The place have been dormant for over a century, you can't tell. Okay, yeah, so see, we didn't have the biotech for this one, so we don't have the, the info. Ooh, so yeah, we can't, because we didn't have the biotech ability, we don't know the difference between the heads. So it's it's like, well, we don't even know. So we'll just pick one. I like that. I like that. It didn't really matter if you want the squad leader, but. It does look good. Yeah, I, I'm liking the way it looks so far. And, and like I said, I probably won't do it again until it's actually out. But that's that's standard for me in, in uh, RPGs and early access. But I'm, I'm liking what I'm seeing so far, and I do hope they tune it down so it's not as strict. And like I said, it's it it definitely feels like it's... And the problem with games like this, when it's so strict, it feels like you're at the mercy of RNG a lot more, like as I've been talked about. You also really need to metagame a bit, like I've already done, right? Like I'm like, oh, I know I'm going to get this armor in a little bit from, from easy encounters, so I'm not going to buy this. I'm going to use my money on this other stuff. So it's and it's it's definitely a very tight line to to walk, right? It's a very tough line to to cover. So I, I definitely don't envy them trying to keeping it difficult, but not crazy difficult. Let's see. Uh, let's try to be aggressive here. Uh, sorry, buddy. First come, first serve. Oh, fuck it. Let's let's try to attack. This is going to be ugly. We're going to get completely destroyed this time because we're still level one. We haven't leveled, I don't think. So this is going to be a total shit show. Uh, Evans, damn Miriam's. <laughs> oh, she's going to die the first round. No chance. Oh, I didn't put the shielding on. What? I didn't put her shielding on. Well, shit. Well, now she's really dead. Evans, die for me. Yes, my love. Stand back, my lady. I shall take care of these ruffians. No, no, madam. I am out of AP. Oh, yeah, we're dead. I Well, you know what? We'll watch him. See who gets the killer. Oh, two, that was that was great. So I guess you can't talk your way into that one, which is again fine. I'm fine with some encounters. You're just like, oh, you just can't, can't counter. I just actually now just saw the the heads that they took the things from. But and, and again, I knew we were gonna lose that one. And and the, and again, the developers even said like, if you go combat heavy, there's gonna probably be more more encounters or more times that you can get get all the best items. So in this case, obviously whatever that the commander's got is the best implant. But if you want it, you're gonna to have to literally fight for it. And since, and so there, I guess they try to balance it in that way, right? Like, yeah, social's easier because it's less RNG. Uh, there's less making sure you've got the right, right armor, the right consumables, all that stuff. But you don't, 
you're not going to necessarily get all the best stuff. So that's a, that's another cool way to, to balance it. I think that can that can work. And again, I don't look forward like I don't envy them trying to <laughs> trying to do all of that and making it work without teetering one way or the other too much. And I'm sure there's you know a lot more we can we can do to as we you know as we go things that we can do maybe sneak by things either by talking or by like literally sneaking. I don't actually I've never even sneak snuck sneak snuck in this game. All right, later jetpack. We're going to wrap up here anyway. But but speaking of, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up. Let me wrap up for YouTube because I probably will throw this on YouTube. But yeah, this is I like this game. It is again, it's called Colony Ship. Actually, the full name is Colony Ship, a post Earth role playing game. I like to think that's a nod to Fallout because Fallout 1 was originally was technically called Fallout, a post apocalyptic uh, role playing game, I think. But um, so, yeah, so far, I will say the the positives. I love the premise. And I'm really curious to see, you know, where where they're going to go with with this. I like that it's a tougher CRPG. My concern is they're going to go a little overboard. It does seem like, again, they're they're being proactive with with feedback and, you know, seeing just how difficult it is. Uh, and, you know, you're, you're just going to have to learn to buy because that's a big thing I've heard over and over and over in the forums. You got to buy consumables. You got to buy consumables. So grenades, healing items, all that stuff. This is going to be one of those games that consumables are just one of those things you get so that you can sell to buy other things. You need to use your grenades. You need to use your smoke grenades, your poison grenades, all of that stuff. In fact, let's go do we'll go do the arena real quick. Let's see how far we can get with us in the arena. Probably not far. How much money do we have? 437? That's not too bad. We'll see what weapons we can get. Because, yeah, you definitely can't talk your way out of the arena. Which, again, makes sense. I'm going to try to... I'm going to save scum. Damn. Alright. Uh... The smoke grenade kind of hurts you both. Smoke grenade is good for melee. Well, okay for melee. It hurts ranged to hit. Penalt uh, it, it hurts your range to hit, obviously. And it hurts melee too. But as you can see, it hurts range a lot. Or it hurts, yeah, it hurts range a lot more. It does a 60 penalty on range and 15 on melee. Though I've had snipers shoot me through the... And that's what I'm talking about with the with the, the frustration with the, the RNG. Is I've seen a sniper during one of the... the the trial combat things shoot through the gas at a guy who's behind half cover and still crit. And it's like, you know, what are you going to do? It's just time to reload at that point. So, and again, normally that's not a big deal. Like with fallout where it's not that difficult. Yes. Yeah, sometimes you can take more damage or whatever during RNG, but it's not, you're probably not going to lose the fight because of it or that often like every now and then rng will really bone you and you'll lose a fight but more often than not you just take more damage than you should have or you you know own better than you should have in this case it's like you get rng once or twice like that's your that's gg it's time to reload but you can't save anywhere now unfortunately no chest bursters at least not that i found i don't want to write it off but probably not uh let's see this by Flash. Yeah, I don't really see how. Well, you know, I have an idea. I want to try with the smoke grenade. Wait, what is this? Oh, that's energy cell for that. The energy weapon we had. All right, good night, Jugs. Thanks for coming out. Don't forget to stream Jugs, and then don't forget to follow Jugs so that when he does stream, everybody can go over there and check him out. But let's see what we can do in here. Now, the first fight should be pretty easy. I'm going to jinx it, I know, but. Oh, that's right. I didn't buy the shield for her. I ended up not buying it. May you not be getting the itch. Good, as you should. 
Yeah, I haven't actually tried with both characters being ranged yet. Sure, let's go for the big hit. Of course. Gonna go for my weak link. I hate that reaction fire thing. Short burst, long burst. Oh, she's only got 10. Oh, we lost it because we, we ran. Uh, aimed burst. How much AP is that? 10? Go for it. Oh, God. 32%. Why does he have... Oh, I guess he, he has a little bit of blocking. All right, whatever. What? Wait, no, I didn't want to... How is he getting a bonus? How is he getting a defensive bonus from, like, here? That makes no sense. And there. Oh, I... I don't know. That doesn't make any sense. Load. Ooh. Wait, why is your AP so low? You only moved. Oh, maybe did, did you move four? I don't know. Oof. It's not non-combat character is rough. Oh, the Uzi is a great weapon for her. It takes way too much AP and she doesn't have much. Jesus, everything is like a million AP. Here. Just run up and melee. shot rifle so yeah she's terrible in melee which is to be expected because she's more of a talker than a murderer all right so yeah overall i definitely definitely like it the i i feel like every hit, almost every hit doing some kind of a negative is going to be a little bit too much though because the enemies get the same thing and especially often you're going to be fighting multiple enemies at the same time. And, and I'm assuming this will change. It does seem like the AI just decides to pick one person and just goes batshit on them. So you'll very quickly get one person who's got, <laughs> got a uh, chance to hit dropped, AP dropped, perception dropped, like all of these debuffs on them so that they're basically useless. Or you get a bunch of debuffs spread across your team. However, it's going to end up working out. Especially if you have a melee. The melee is going to run in and just get completely destroyed melee, uh, debuff wise. So it seems like the debuffs are going to get out of control. And you kind of have to build assuming you're going to have a bunch of debuffs on you all the time. So like you really need a lot of dexterity because you're going to be debuffed constantly. Especially, well, at least as a melee. So you need even more dexterity to make up for having your AP dropped, or uh, you need even more perception because your chance to hit is going to be dropped from the debuffs. So yeah, it's, it's like I said, melee in particular are going to suffer. I, and I feel like this game is almost built very anti-melee, especially with stuff like the free snapshots and, and whatnot, which is mostly useless against ranged because the range usually aren't going to be, you know, running into those areas. And that and the fact that melee has to have perception for hit, I like it. maybe it should affect it a little bit. But perception should not be a major stat for melee. That just shouldn't be the case because they're getting up and in, in close. They don't need, like, even if your eye is not so good, when you're standing toe-to-toe -to -toe with somebody, 
it's pretty easy to hit them. So I think perception should be much, much lower factor for melee characters, because as I said before, melee characters are going to need four stats. They're going to need strength, they're going to need constitution, they're going to need dex, they're going to need perception. While ranged characters are going to be able to get away with the set, like dexterity and perception. Uh, or shit, even like, even just perception, right? Like dexterity, obviously you want just because you could know, do more. But yeah, like it, it just feels really unbalanced that that melee has to require so many stats to be even because like you know you if you give up strength, it's like well you're melee, but you're not doing shit damage. You give up constitution, well you just die quick, and you're probably going to be you know a central target being running up up front. Dexterity, like again, you're going to be debuffed. So you've got to have them AP. Perception, same deal. You're going to be eating debuffs left and right, which is going to drop your, you know, chance to hit. So you need perception to make up for that. So yeah, it's going to be interesting to see. Uh, I mean, obviously there's other ways too. Like there's some items that give you some chance to hit, but even the the nice visor that you can get is like five percent increase the chance to hit, which by itself it sounds good, but again, when the enemies are dropping your chance to hit and keeping it down pretty much permanently, it, it can be pretty rough. Oh yes, I can't do a non-murder run in Fallout. I don't think it's possible, but uh, let me wrap up for YouTube folks first and Twitch folks hang out. We'll talk a little bit about the schedule this weekend and next week. But uh, yeah, overall, I definitely think you should check this game out if you like CRPGs and if you can deal with a more, with a much more strict RPG as again insofar as your build like you can't it doesn't it doesn't feel like at least at the current time you can just kind of RP it up as somebody else said you you need to build a very specialized if you're melee all of your points need to go into melee if you're ranged your points really really need to go into all ranged so and again we didn't try just a ranged character so it might be a little bit easier for them it probably is again just because they require less stats but yeah and maybe they can make it too so that and this is more rng but maybe make it so that um like constitution or something makes it so that you can resist the negative effects of shots right so normally your you know your to hit chance would drop but constitution maybe you can like resist it something like that but i guess we'll 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 see i'd be very interested and like i said it, it's very it's a very good thing to see the developers have been open to feedback about the difficulty in particular. And like I said, I'm not making, to be clear, I'm not saying the game's too hard. I, I don't think we've played it enough to say like, oh yeah, this is definitely way too hard. I, I would want to play through like most of what's available. I think like chapter, all of like chapter one is available right now, which I'm not sure how long it takes to play through, but I'd really want to play through all of that to really get a good feel for the difficulty and i might do that off camera maybe i uh, just to, so i can provide feedback to the devs just to give my two cents but it's definitely harder that is for sure that it's definitely harder than most crpgs i've played is it too hard i don't know if you're not used to min maxing i think it definitely will be difficult uh, if you're not really good at, at designing those types of characters then yeah it's probably going to be tougher but that might be okay maybe they'll add input difficulty settings later so that you know you can play it on the easy and you can do whatever build you want i i'm not sure but anyway thank you guys for watching make sure to follow come follow me on twitch twitch.tv slash vertigo tea party for the love of god uh, let me know what you thought of the game in the comments below and i will see y'all next